Welcome to FS22. Yes, the short fat man is back. Yes, he's wearing red and he probably looks like an absolute pleb. But, my first go on FS22, let's do a challenge. I've created a challenge called the Mr. P Gaming's On Sale Challenge. Yes, On Sale Challenge. What does that mean? Well... You can pick any map you like. You have to have it on normal economy. And uh, I think I've got mine on a four-day month cycle, I believe. And uh, yeah, so it means if I go on here, I have to sell... Where are you? Sell all of my equipment. The only piece of equipment I am allowed to keep is the harvester. Yes, the harvester. So we sell that. Sell the cultivator. Sell the cedar. We can keep the header trailer because it's you know to do with the harvester. So all we have is a harvester. Uh, we've sold everything, and you're thinking, well, Mr. P, how are you going to sell your grain? Good question. I'm going to have to drive there in my. Uh, I'm going to have to drive there in my harvester to the sell point, but. Uh, yeah, but uh, the whole point of this challenge is you are only allowed to buy items that are in the second hand on sale screen in the menu. And uh, I'm going to struggle. I've only got a harvester. And you're only allowed to buy items for your farm in the used vehicle sale. You are not allowed to buy any equipment for your farm if it's not in here. And, oh, bargain, I've already got a tractor! And what's this? What is it? What is it? What is this thing? Grass roller and weeder and improve the yield of your grass field? That's, that's not really going to help me out, though, is it? Uh, hmm. 
We've got a tractor though, 19,000. Oh, bargain. Yeah, don't care. What horsepower are you? 75, I don't care. Please give. And a trailer, a trailer. Yes, we're taking it. We've got a trailer. We've got a tractor. That is so damn lucky. I don't have a cedar though. I don't have a cedar, don't have a planter. All I've got, well, all you initially start off with is the harvester. But uh, <laughs> we're not doing too bad. That, honestly, is the look. Um, I don't want the straw. Please chop it up. Please chop it up. I've got nothing to collect the straw with. There we go. So yeah, this challenge is going to be a fun one. Because uh, I'm not sure what equipment I'm going to get. I honestly got lucky with a tractor and a trailer being on sale. So we've got a Massey Ferguson. That is a fantastic start. I thought I was going to struggle like heck. Because I've literally just been playing it off screen. And every time I've got a tractor come up in there, it's been ridiculously... A ridiculously expensive tractor. So yeah, the Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. You're only allowed to buy equipment for your farm that's on sale. <laughs> Cause you know me, I'm a real bargain hunter. So only being able and being limited by what is on sale for your farm, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. Like I am, I don't have a cedar, I don't have a planter, I don't have a plough, a cultivator. So I've got no way. Actually, does that weeder plant? Or does that roller? I, I'm not sure. One thing I do know is it was an absolute fluke that I got a tractor in the sale. It's not massive horsepower, only 75 horsepower. So if we do see a massive planter that requires a lot of power, we are, yeah, we got lucky we have having a tractor on there, but it's only 75 horsepower. And remember, if a tractor does come up for sale, you are not allowed to change any of the, um, like, let me just tell you, right, if, say the, the, the tractor came up for sale here, I am not allowed Say you selected this tractor on sale. You are not allowed to change any of these configurations on the right hand side. You have to keep whatever configuration it automatically gives you. You have to keep it. So yes, this is Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. Uh, Jeremy Bush there with a the Rev Raid, John Smith. I'm here, bud. But yeah, Rev, this is Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. You sell all of your equipment apart from the harvester. You are only allowed to buy equipment for your farm that is in the sale menu. Anything that is in here on sale, you are able to buy you are not allowed to go into here and buy anything you want. You are not allowed to go in here. The only thing you are allowed to do is to go to the store to buy your big bags of seed, fertilizer, and lime, liquid fertilizer, and things like that. They are the only things that you are allowed to get. Any equipment you want for your farm, you've got to get in the used vehicle sale on here. And I do believe it changes daily. So... You want more equipment or a better chance? Make sure you've got longer days in your months. So, I got lucky. I got real, real lucky. Let me just throw a worker in here. Because in my sale, in my sale tab, I actually got a Massey Ferguson and a trailer. Yeah, it's only 70 odd horsepower. But it's mine! It's my tractor! mine i get to keep it mm, lovely i uh, just got the likes and the shares and everything you are all absolutely amazing there you go big fat thumbs up for yourself yes i uh, love how you explain everything for people who wants to play this game best way to be
best way to be, best way to learn, best way to focus on the game. But, yes, you are only allowed to buy equipment from the used equipment sales menu. <laughs> Good luck with that one. But, as you saw, I did get lucky and get this tractor. I did get lucky and get that trailer. But this is only a 75 horsepower tractor. I've just got to hope that at some point, a cedar or a planter that this thing can power comes up on sale. Will that happen? Probably not. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to have to be doing a, a bit of contract work, probably probably buy a couple of fields, skip a couple of days. Because I've got enough money at the minute. I'm rich, I want me ass on 50s. 389,513, and that's going down because I've got to work currently in the harvester. But this is going to be a beautiful challenge. Yeah, I got lucky with a tractor. You might get lucky with a tractor on yours as well. But what's to say you're going to get a cedar or a planter or a plow that it can pull? <laughs> you can't guarantee it. So keep your eyes open. Oh, you might miss out on a great deal, folks. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I got lucky with this tractor. It's only 75 horsepower. Am I going to be able to find a plow, a cedar or a planter that this thing can pull, that this thing can power? I might not be lucky in that aspect. I might be waiting a long time to be able to plant my own fields. You never know. <laughs> it might be one of those issues. Might be one of those issues. But I do have my own tractor and trailer. And what have we got? Don't forget to get fuel for the tractor. Exactly. As well, yeah, fuel. I mean, you can buy, like I said, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, and, and things like that from the store. I mean, that's a given. How you're going to get your seed and that otherwise. And obviously, your fuel repairs. I mean, if I wanted to, I could repair this bad boy. It's got... Oh, jeez. This has got 32... 32.6 hours on it. Is that it? I got this as a bargain price. Only 32 hours on it. Oh! Bargain. Alright, come on. Give me all the good... Give me... Is that it? Is that all I got off this field? No, come on, surely not. Really? No, you're lying to me. Oh, it's because the worker jumped down. Don't forget, if you do play FS22, to use any of the equipment, like the back three-point linkage, or to even unload a harvester, you've got to turn it on. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Makes it seem like it's like... Mr. P knows what he's talking about. He knows how machinery works. No, I don't. I found that out because I sat there like, My harvester's broken. It's not working. Why aren't you unloading? That was why. The harvester needs to be running for the auger to unload. Or, as I do, I don't like automatic automatic engine start. That just bugs me. Because you can't get out the tractor and leave it on. Right, so we've got 4,149 litres of wheat. Right, where is the best place to sell my wheat? Goldcrest Valley. Where's that? <laughs> I've been playing around on the French map that much. I don't know this map. Oh, and the light of the gods has shown me the way. What's this tractor look like inside? Oh, it looks gorgeous. Mr. Pete, other side. There we go, we're in America now. Duh. Pete. I tell you, I got this at a bargain deal. I mean, this isn't a tractor I would have gone for, because it's 75 horsepower. I mean, it's not a tractor I would have gone for. You'd get out my way and come through. You hit my trailer and you're going to be away for it, I'm telling you. But yeah, 32 hour, 32.6 hours on it. I got it for a bargain. But you know me, anybody that has watched my streams, you will know. 
I'm a tight bastard. I don't like spending money. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, the weird thing with me in real life, right? Uh, if I'm with somebody or, or or a family member or a friend, you know, if they want something, I'll generally try and help. If it's expensive, you know, I'll see what I can do. But then when it comes to myself, and I see something, and I'm like, nah, that's too much, that's too expensive, I'm not buying that for myself. Look at the price. It's expensive, it's extortionate. But yet, I'd be willing to spend that much on a friend to help them out, or a family member. It's crazy. Crazy. But I don't know how this train system works. I think I'm broken, not the game. Uh, where is the beam from the gods? Where is it? Is it down there? Apparently not. I do like the gear shift. Actually, uh, I've played this game for a while. First time on stream, obviously, but... I've, <laughs> I've been building a vineyard in France. And it is looking tasty. I was going to do a live stream on that, but I have heard that giants will possibly be bringing out a ooh, uh, a patch that might might uh, break the save but I know save files were already having issues anyway oh whoa 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 what was this for anybody that doesn't know there are a set amount of collectibles I do believe there are even nine or ten of each collectible there are animals, there are trailers, there's tractors, and there are harvesters, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure if there's any more. But here's a harvester. There it is. If you go up to it and press R, er, you should be able to click it. There you go. You found a harvester. There are nine more harvesters to be found. Okay, so there's ten. And you get a grand for each one you pick up. I do know where a couple are around the main farm. I do know where a couple more are, actually, when I was actually having a quick tour around. As you do, if you're like me, you nosy. Alright, so, let's unload you. Come on. Give me the money. Give me the money. You go in... I, I think I empty it in here, and then I call for a train. I think. I don't know. I've never done it. I've never done it. Uh, let me just wait for that to come on down. Come on down! <laughs> feel like a talk show host. <laughs> Big back trailer! Come on down! Fuck you. Alright, so where the hell do I go to... Where do I go? What? What's that? Oh, what's that down there? Cause I'm a weirdo. Alright, come on, let's go. Uh, Rev kind of taught me in how to do this. Uh, why does no? Why did nothing show up on the menu? I need the idiot menu up. Come on, Mister P, what you do? You shouldn't be doing this to yourself. Disgusting behaviour. Need the idiot menu. Mm. Uh, rent train for a thousand per app. <coughs> <coughs> Train is going to arrive soon. How many diamonds have you gotten from the Great One Grind? Uh, on the Hunter. Uh, two, I believe. I think two. I think. I won't quote me on it. How far away is this train? Is this train seriously going to take this long? I don't even know how it works. Do I just stand here like a pleb? Time's coming. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, I think I've got two. Two, two diamonds. How many do you get? Ricky Williams there, buddy. Hey, big fat thumbs up for yourself, mate. Big fat thumbs up. How you doing? What are you up to? Right now, Ricky, I am doing my own challenge. It's the Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. You have to sell all the equipment apart from your starting harvester. And the only equipment you're allowed to buy is the ones that pop up 
in the used vehicle sale menu. I've already picked up two bargains. I got a <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny Massey Ferguson uh, tractor and trailer, which is up there. Up there. Those that aren't trained, but not. I know, right? What's he doing? Is he even coming? 1.4 kilometres. Oh, come on, mate. Put your foot down. Really? It's like real life, isn't it? Waiting for a train. Hey, Mr. P, I have FS22. Oh, nice. I do love crossplay. Crossplay. Crossplay is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm really, I'm looking forward to playing with a load more friends again because, as you know, I'm a rich. You best be that damn train, I'm telling you. Originally, I did play it on PS4, and uh, my PS4 decided to have a brain fart, you know. Benny popped up. <laughs> brain fart Benny there. And uh, had other sweet ideas. I have it on PS4. Awesome! At some point, we'll, uh, you'll have to, uh, we'll have, to uh, have a multiplayer session. I'm telling you, buddy, you best stop that train. I'm not paying a thousand pound an hour for you to just mess around. He actually stopped. Kudos. Uh, enter vehicle. Start engine first. That normally helps. Oh, that train uh, went a bit quick, didn't it? I need to go backwards, though. So, yeah. Uh, which car does this go? Does it go in the second one? I don't fucking know. It's been ages since I've done this. Don't judge me. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Stop! Please, stop. Uh, I'm going to give it a try on the first with my PC just to see if I can play, even if it's on low settings. Uh, your PC should be able to play on low settings. Did have a look at your specs. It should be able to. All this for a train, right? I'm having to pay a thousand pounds per hour for this. For that. For that little. Did you see that little drop? No, you didn't. You missed it. It was that quick. Fucking hell, was that? You cost me a grand. I best get more than a thousand for this, I'm telling you. Back you go. Bugger off. Alright, the train will now drive to Goldcrest Valley and will return on the other side of the map. Do you want to sell the load goods in? Oh, yeah. 3,567. Vehicle leasing cost, minus 74. So it didn't cost me a grand? Bonus! It better not charge me a grand when it gets to 9 o'clock, I'm telling you. Some train windows are going to get smashed. But for anyone that didn't see, here we go. Here's my little 3707AL Massey Ferguson, 70-odd horsepower. And my sexy little trailer. Uh, I have the GeForce GT 1030 graphics card. Should run it on low. Should. You probably, I would say you probably get a little bit of lag. But with the way the game is at the minute, everybody gets lag. <laughs> so, you won't really be able to tell because of lag. Because everybody gets it. Everything else is uh, good. It's more graphics card. Yeah. I mean, I was reading... What the heck is that? Oh, <laughs> it's my gears. Clickety-click, clickety-click, clickety-clang-clang-clang. Right, so there we go. Made a bit of money. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to skip a day. Uh, see if anything else pops up in the old bargain menu. Because that is the only way we can buy equipment. Is if it's in the on sale window. I'll just show you again for anybody who wants to see. This challenge for your farm. You are only allowed to buy equipment for your farm. That pops up in the used vehicle sale just here. You are not allowed to go in here. You're not allowed to go in there. And, obviously, you're not allowed to go in packs, because that literally just gives you 
things like this. And you're not allowed. You're only allowed to go in the sale here and buy the equipment that's there. But, oh, that requires a hundred. But you can buy seed and you can plant grass. But how would I cut the grass? I don't have a mower. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, I can plant grass. How am I going to cut it? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if you've seen what I told Rev about my sit pizza. I think I did. It's mainly your graphics card that's that's letting you down by the seams of it. <coughs> it 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 might run the game on low. I mean, even if you buy the game on Steam um, and then save up and get a graphics card, I'm sure FS22 is going to be out for about probably three to four years. You know. Uh, they got a little farm sim. They took an extra year and uh, the game's still broken, but... Hey ho! Mr. P loves a broken game! Didn't get it half price though, did it? But is what it is, is what it is. So we'll get this back to the farm, we'll skip a day. And uh, we'll see what bargains we can get from the Mr. P's bargain bin. I'm actually thinking about getting that roller. I know it's a hundred uh, horsepower requirement, but getting a roller that can f can it fertilize? Let's just stop a moment. This tractor, I know it's underpowered, but it m might do it. Uh, grass rollers and weeders improve the yield of your grass field. Yeah, I don't have any grass fields. <laughs> I was going to say, if it was one of them rollers that looked just fertilise any field, I would have done that. But, he's going for grass meal. You suck. Yeah, I'm only buying from Steam. I'm not going to Walmart for the game. Yeah, I... I was talking to somebody the other day, and the last game I, I actually went out and brought on disc was Horizon Zero Dawn. The day it very first came out for PlayStation 4. Horizon Zero Dawn, the very first day it came out. I went to the store and I brought the CD. And that was the last game I brought and that was a while ago now. That is a while ago now. Alright, there we go. Engine off. I still can't believe how lucky I got with that track there. I mean, yeah, it's well underpowered. But it's my underpowered tractor. Uh, I need to take off you. Thank you. The beam from the gods has gone. Alright, so... Looking at the time. 8.38. Is they still in there? Yes, it doesn't say. I wish they had like a timer of how long this sale goes on for. I think that would be good, just to give people an indication of when the next ones are coming out. But what I think we'll do is we'll sleep sleep the day away. Nothing we can do. We don't have a cedar, don't have a planter. I'm broke. Well, with farming equipment, I'm broke anyway. I'm just a poor farmer. Probably take a full season to a season and a half before we get our own equipment. All right, here we go. Start of a new day. I do have weeds on, I do have lime on. Uh, from what I have seen from Steam, they are all good games. Yeah, there is. There is some really good games on Steam. I do love it when they uh, bring out a sale, gotta say. Another tractor! Another tractor! A T6! Oh, what's this? A bigger trailer. Do I need a bigger trailer? Could come in handy. But I want this tractor. We're buying a T6. And if you do get a bargain like this, remember, you are not allowed to change any of these configurations. You have to keep what is set here. You're not allowed to change them. So we're going to be getting another tractor. 40 odd grand. That is fantastic. Let's have a look at our new purchase. With the Wow. 
Now, the five games I do have right now is from Steam, and I would recommend them to anyone. Yeah, Steam is really good. So there we go, we got a new Holland T6. Oh, for 40 odd grand. So we've got two tractors, a trailer that we brought. Obviously, you do start off with the harvester. But you, you're not allowed to pick which harvester you start with. You have to start with the base map harvester. If that was the case, you know, you could just grab a class Lexian. You know what I mean? Oh, but we got a bigger tractor. My worries are over. We've got two tractors. Still a shame that we're, we're not getting a... Uh, cedar or a planter or a plow or a cultivator but having another tractor is very very handy so two tractors oh we got a Massey and a New Holland two tractors I probably would have never brought as well I would have brought a Massey but not that really small one So there we go, there's the pieces of equipment we own right now that we have brought from the sales. It's got 23.1 hours on it. I mean... Was this a demo? What was wrong with it? Nothing wrong with that at all, that's a beautiful T6. I would take that all day. What was wrong with that? It was a bargain. Just thinking, do we need that trailer? Or should we get that bigger one? Hmm. Hmm. Don't have very big fields at the minute. I don't really want to be buying more fields. Because I don't know what type of cedar we're going to get. I don't know what type. That's the thing with this challenge. You don't know what equipment is going to be available. You don't know what you're going to get. So do you really want to go out and spend most of your money on buying more fields when you might get a three metre cultivator or a three metre or a one and a half metre plough? You know what I mean? It's one of them things, one of them things. But uh, yeah, love, I love that. Honestly though, they, they look, they, they, the Massey had 32.8 hours on it. For a tractor, that's nothing. This New Holland, 23.1 hours on it. That's nothing. That is nothing. I mean, in real life, 20 odd hours. It's probably a day's work. <laughs> for a farmer, anyway. Alright, but what other bargains did we have? There's the farm tech here. Oh, my eye. 45.5 meter three is that meter squared I don't, I, don't, I don't bloody know metric ton i don't fucking know what that means i'm not smart Forty-five thousand. so originally uh what how much is this thing originally the farm tech fortis three thousand so trailers farm tech where are you Originally 68,000. <sighs> Originally 68,000. And it's currently at 37. Is my harvester going to be able to reach over that though? Because that is a big beast. Looks like a manure spreader, doesn't it? Hmm. Could be handy to have that, though. In all fairness, it could be handy to have that. Because in the long run, it's probably going to get better and better and better. You know, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. We're keeping this. We'll set up standard. We're not allowed to touch any of that. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We're buying it. We're buying it and we're gonna go collect it. it. Only costs us 30 odd grand. 
I know we've got another trailer there, but we can keep that as well. Let's go and uh, pick up our brand new trailer. So what's the chances? Tractor trailer, tractor trailer. I need a cedar. Come on, sales. Throw a cedar my way. One that direct drills would be fantastic. <laughs> One that direct drills, please. Give, 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 give. Give, 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 give. Mm. God, I've got math like the desert. <sighs> but when we get back to the farm, we will go and collect, uh, if you haven't seen, at the farm where we've just been, there are a couple of little sneaky collectibles. I don't know if it's all of them, but I know where a couple are. Well, I think. I think. Was it at the farm, or was it... I think it might have been at a, a, a cell point. Sure, it was at a cell point. So we'll go and collect those. So if you haven't seen where they are, I can show you where they are. <coughs> oh, the old mirror was glitching. Did you see that? The old FS19 trait making its uh, ugly head appear again. The old uh, glitchy mirrors. This is beautiful. Bigger tractor. Bigger trailer. Yes, please. We still got 313 grand because we're bargain hunting. Oh, 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 lovely. Right, so there we go. There we are. I do think that's going to come in handy, though. Now, getting the T6 on sale and getting this big trailer. Can our harvester reach up there? I don't know. But it was a bargain. <laughs> and we do have our Massey and uh, the little small... Is it Welger? 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 I don't know. I don't know what of them. Alright, so... Is that all the bargains for today? Don't really need that. I don't see myself using that one right now. So it looks like we're going to be sleeping another day away. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, give me a cedar. Or a direct drill. Or a, or a cultivator or a plow. Just so I can do a bit of work in my fields. They've sat so bare. I mean, if you do know how long it takes for the... The sales to reset, let me know. Because I'll be checking them out, guaranteed, on that time every time. Because I'm a bargain hunter. Right, what have we got? Three, two, one. Got a mower set up, got another harvester. 4,900 4, capacity. <gasps> We've got a plow. We've got a plow. I don't think our tractors are powerful enough to pull it, but there's a plow. Small tractor, 125. 75. I don't know if my tractor's powerful enough to pull it. Mmm. Some mowers, though. Some mowers. I really think my harvest is better than that one. 4,900 capacity on you. And my harvester, I think it's 8,500. Yeah, they put the Rossell mash in there. I wonder if you buy something on sale, you repair it and sell it, do you get this price back? I don't know, but I don't want to test it to find out because it's a lot of money. Oh... 160 horsepower. I don't have 160 horsepower, but I do need a plow. I don't even know if we're going to be able to pull this plow. But it's a plow, and I'm going to push my tractors to the absolute max. 
Let's try and see if we can plow one of our fields with it. I know the little Massey isn't going to do it, but can our T6? It is very underpowered for this plow, but... You never know. You never know. And I do like that now with the headers... Can you remember when the um, Class Harvester pack came out with the headers? You could put this header on there as wonky as you wanted and it would like just glitch and sit in place like this. You ready? That is not straight by any means. I'm doing this just to show you. And uh, if we drop it, there you go. It is on. It is straight. Did you see how beautiful I did with that? I did amazing. There we go. Right, let's just park you there. I'm hoping T6, please. Don't let me down. I know this plow is way too big. Like, stupidly big. But it's a good price. It's a bargain. And I do love me a good bargain. If you know me. T6, I wouldn't have picked it. Honestly, I wouldn't. And you got to let me know. If you do this challenge... What was you most surprised by? You're like, wow, well, I wouldn't have brought that normally, but it did well. I mean, we do have the other little small Massey. We've now got a T6. Nice. Now do you remember where the shop is? And oh, jeez, I still went, f forgot to go down there. But whilst we're here, we can go over there to that place that's... I'll quickly show you that. Plow. I'll be with you in one moment. Stay there, don't go anywhere. Is it this way? I believe it is. Is it? Is it you? Is it you I'm looking for? I can feel it in your eyes. I think it is. I think I've got to go past here and in there. Last time I looked at the map. For anybody that doesn't know if you are on Elm Creek, just here. Where you see there, just over there, that is where you sell your rocks. So if I just go into the map for you, just make life easier for you. Uh, just down here, I think it's there, just there on the map, if you've got your little rock picker, just here is where you take them to be emptied and you get paid for it. But honestly, like I was saying to Rev, I said, Rev, yeah, the rock picking's good, but I think I think people are going to get fed up with it. It's going to end up being like um, weeds, you know? Oh, yeah, it was good when it first came out, but people soon learned to turn that off. Uh, you do have to wiggle up some stairs. There we go. Because the short, fat man obviously gets his name. He's short and fat. Is there anything over here? Nope. So I'd never checked, never checked up there, so I thought, you know what, let's check up there. But, ooh, if we run through here, just on this left hand side in this big building here, the one with the little blue thing outside it, if you go in here, as you can see, sweet as you like, there is a little trailer in there. There you go. That's an extra thousand. And if we go up these steps on this side, this big thing here, if you go up these steps, you got to wiggle because it doesn't like your player going up these steps. It's janky as all heck. I don't know what the giants are done, but it is janky trying to walk upstairs. You literally have to like wiggle left and right. It's, it's just weird. You're not the one. Where are you? I think it was up there. I know it's up here somewhere. There it is. There you are, my little precious. There you go. You've found a plow. I said I agreed with you on my stream. Yeah. That's like... It, it, it's alright. 
but how quickly are people going to get fed up with it? Like when weeds first came out. Oh yeah, you know, we got weeds. How quick did they turn that off? <laughs> they turned it off pretty quick. Right, and another one you can find is in here where the actual cell point is. If you go up here, up these steps. It is, oh, just there. Look at that. Gorgeous. An easy 1,000. But there is nothing else. That's pretty much all I found. The only reason I found that out is because when I just had a quick look around this map, I'm nosy. I check everywhere. And I was like, oh, I see that. Right, let's crack on. Let's go get me overpowered plow and me underpowered tractor. Oh, I love this challenge already. It's going to be fun. Wee oh. Don't go wobbly bobbing. I, I really need a front weight for this thing. But a front weight hasn't come up in the sails. Just like crawl along and drag the plow in the ground. I don't know. The plow does require 200 plus horsepower. My tractor's, was it 170, 160? I don't know. Well, my little Massey definitely wouldn't have done it. Will this? Don't know. I think I need a weight. <laughs> I'm going to find out. You ready? Oh. Oh. I need a weight. Actually, can we cheese the system? Of course we can. We can put the plow down. And drag it to the farm. Uh, uh, let me. Because I, I know this trap that is supposed to lift it up. Uh, uh, uh. Turn! You can do it! Get it to the farm! Just need you to turn, get a little bit of grip. A little bit of grip. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to get me blown in the farm. Turn. Turn. That's it. Yes. Turn. No. No. You're turning too much. I think I'm going to have to leave my plow here for a moment. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to leave my plow there for a minute. I need a weight. There's no weights. Unless I buy the front mower. <laughs> That'd be an expensive front weight, wouldn't it? <coughs> oh, dear. Right, so looks like we need to go bargain hunting again. So let's jump out. Let's sleep. I do need a way if I'm going to tr att attempt to use that plow. That is a ridiculous plow for the tractors we have. I don't like that little cinematic thing that they have there. I don't like it because it just... It's just weird. To me, it's weird, anyway. Alright, what have we got in the bargains today? Oh! Oh, another tractor! Oh, I wouldn't mind buying another tractor. Engine set up, what is it? 82 horsepower. No front loader. Standard wheel set up. No front weight. Give me a tractor with a front weight! Oh, I'm buying that tractor, it's cheap as chips. What have we got here? Shaffer? Is that like a front loader? Front loader? 14 grand? 52% off? Oh! Bargain! We're taking it! Thank you very much! <laughs> Alright, so that leaves us with 264,909. I don't even... <laughs> 
But we got another Massey. And we got a little Shaffer. Look at that. Little front loader. Oh, I'm well happy with that. All right, so let's take these back to the farm. We've got two little masses. We've got a shaft for front loader. We don't have any attachments for it. We've got to wait until they're in the sails. Do front loader attachments come in the sails? I hope they do. Is this similar to the one we've already got? The Diner 2. We're going to have to have a look. Well, I'm loving this challenge. You never know what you're going to get, what bargains pop up. Let's just check. Oh, it's just a great one left. I mean, we could. I would say could. Do a vineyard. Because you can build a vineyard. But. We don't have any fertilizer. Don't have any lime. Don't have any planter. We don't have anything. We've got three tractors now. Three tractors, a plow that's too big, two trailers. And I mean, bargain hunting. I love it. What have we got? Let's have a look. So we've got a Massey Ferguson 4708 Diner 2. And the 3707AL. And we've got a, a, a New Holland T6 over at the farm. Alright, let's skip a day. See what bargains pop up. I am absolutely loving this. Let's go. Let's uh, let's sleep. I don't like this cin little cinematic that it gives. Just like based staring up at the sky like you cross eye like that. Just weird. I want a, fr a front weight would be nice, so I can try and use that plow. Definitely would like a cedar, or or even a planter. But then we'd need a cultivator, <laughs> and hopefully attract a powerful enough bullet. Fingers crossed. Three, two, one. What have we got in the bargains? We've got a chrome big M. We got. Grass roller and weed has improved the yield of a grass field. Uh, grass rollers and weeders. Does this work as a weeder? The meadow roll vario. Does it work as a weeder? Doesn't show anything down here. Uh, Chrome Big M. 158 grand. That is really cheap for a Chrome Big M. That is really cheap. How much is a Chrome Big M normally? 380,000 for a Chrome Big M. And there's one on sale for 158,000. What's wrong with it? It's got 13.2 hours on it. There's not that much wrong with that, but... We need other equipment. If I didn't need other equipment, I would buy that. That is pretty good. But, uh... Yep, nothing that's uh, any good for us. Skip another day. That's the thing. You never know what you're going to get. As uh, Forrest Gump says, life is like a box of chocolates. Apparently, farming is like... A box of chocolates. You never know what equipment you're going to get. But I am loving this series so far. Loving it. Oh, jeez. Look at them weeds. Look at the weeds. The weeds. So, what have we got today? Uh, class front loader attachment. A drop deck. It's called can be used for loads of goods onto your trailer. What's it for though? McCormick High Dump Bucket. What's it for? What's it for? A telehandler? Is this for a telehandler? I can't remember. I'm going to have to have a quick look. At you. 
I think you might fit on there. If it doesn't, it's still cheap. <laughs> what he says, it's still cheap. <laughs> will, will you fit? That's probably going to be... Uh, oh, jeez. That's for a wheel loader. You're not going to fit on there, are you? You're massive. If that fit on there, I would absolutely laugh. Come on. Go. Uh, uh, square peg round hole kind of situation, isn't it? Well, I didn't know. Didn't you didn't warn me, did you? You didn't warn me, so I've got a plough that's too big for my tractor. I've got a weight I brought. <laughs> oh, jeez, a wheel loader bucket. I could sell the wheel loader bucket, see how much you get for it. Just literally push it along the floor over there. Maybe. Don't need any of that. Oh, is does any of my tractors have an attacher? Oh, you don't. You don't. I don't think the T6 does. No. Oh, so getting a tractor with a with the the old. Uh, Loader would have been great, but no, he has to suck a fart, be evil, and not let me do it. <sighs> All right, so and again, got some good looking tractors. Mm. All right, come on, what are you gonna give me? Come on, give me a good bargain. Come on. Bargain, please. A front way, a cultivator, a cedar, something. Was that me or did the screen just glitch out? Oh, jeez, look at the weeds. Horrible. What? Oh. I was going to say, I've got crops growing in just random spots. So, what have we got today? Another McCormick bucket. Uh, we got a fasting mixer wagon and another shaffer. We've already got you, I believe. No, I think we've already got one of these. I think ours was actually cheaper. Is that the same as ours? The 23E? No, ours is the 2630. Ours is the... Ours is the baby! Seems like it's going around what you... Like it's going around what you're looking for. Well, that's the thing. I love this, that I came up with this, because... It's going to... You're going to end up with equipment that you wouldn't normally pick, and because you started off with it and you think, wow, well, that's done a really good job, I'm going to keep that. You have to use the, sh the equipment that randomly pops up. You can't go, all right, well, I want this, I want that, and that, and that, and that. It's all about chance. I mean, this bucket, it didn't tell me that it was for a wheel loader. I thought it was smaller and it fit on this. <laughs> that didn't work out too well, but... You know what I mean? It's a good little challenge that I came up with. The Mr. P Gaming's, uh, what did I call it? On sale challenge. So let's just tab again. Not that many bargains right now. We've already got a little wheel loader. Or a little front loader. Getting something for that little uh, front loader would be nice as well. So I'm hoping something pops up for that. But I am really wanting a, a cedar or a planter. That would be nice. Give me the cedar. Give me a planter. Cedar, planter, cedar, planter, cedar, planter. Think hard enough and it will happen. Three, 
two, one. What's in the store? Oh, jeez. There, look at that thing. The walkabout mother bin. Damn. When am I ever going to need that? What is this? What is this? A mulch can be used to crush the crop's stubble. Am I ever going to use one of them? There we go. What's this? I don't have a corn header. I know it's John Deere, but I don't have a corn header. I've only got... That. Can I get away with getting a John Deere corn header? Could I? Would it work? Might work. It's only 18,000. I'm going to go for it. I know it's not going to fit. It, it, it's John Deere going on Deutzfahr. But it's a it's a header. A corn header and sunflower header. I think I've got to go for it. I mean, it, it might work. It might not. Let's go find out. I want to see if that works now. Let's go see if that header works. I'm hoping it does. And that will give us the opportunity to do sunflowers, corn. So... That would be really good. Please. Cross your fingers. Uh, that would work for weight on the front of the T6. What would work for weight on, on the T6? This. That would, wouldn't it? The mulcher. That would work for a weight. Is that what you're on about? The mulcher working as a weight. Really expensive, though, isn't it, for a weight? I mean... Do we need a mulcher? That's the thing. Right now, I don't think we need one, do we? Buying it just to use as a weight? <laughs> oh, jeez, this... 12 mile an hour. Oh, it's a killer. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... A Deutz Bar... Hopefully... With a John Deere corn header. Or, or what type of header would you call that? Cone? The cone header? I don't know. I don't really know what the, the real term of it is. If you know the term, let me know. I want to know what it is now. I want to know what it is. What's that? Bread? I do like me some fresh bread. Yeah, that mulcher would uh, work for a weight for now. Yeah, it would. We might have to... <laughs> gonna, uh, this is the thing with this challenge. It's the makeshift. If you haven't got a weight, you have to buy another piece of equipment that can act like one. I mean, we're going in the Deutzfahr to pick up a John Deere corn header that could... Could, maybe, hopefully, work with this harvester. Please work. Please work. Please. <laughs> it's, it's probably going to be all glitchy as hell, but come on, please work. Uh, come on. Fingers crossed. That looks absolutely hideous. <laughs> oh, that looks so wrong. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's ugly beautiful. Does it work, though? That's the question. Does it work? Let's open her up. And jeez, look at all the scratches and that on it. Oh! Oh, it works! It works! <laughs> oh, gorgeous! It looks as ugly as sin. But it works! I love it. Oh, I need to... Oh, seriously, I've got to turn the engine on again just to lower that down. Yeah, but the mulcher would work as a counterweight. Oh, that's an expensive counterweight. Requires 200 horsepower. We've not got nowhere near enough. But that mulcher, how much is that originally? Is it this one? 9,500, or was it the 25,000? 
25 grand. Ow! Ah! Ooh! Damn! Right, let's move my harvester out of the way, because that's where all the bargains uh, get dropped. Oh, jeez, that's... Oh! Buying a mulcher just to use as a makeshift weight. You are going to be stunning. Hopefully that lifts up. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. Right, let's unfold the tool first. All right. Which side? All right, let's go. Let's uh, see if this will work. <laughs> Using this as a mulcher. Using it just as a... Oh, jeez, that is heavy. Yeah, the plow definitely ain't going to move anywhere after, <laughs> after this. Go, come on, please. Go, 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 go. Sliding across the floor. Can you see that? gets heavier. As I think I'm going to need to try and slowly drag the weight over there because that, that's definitely going to hold this plow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Then we'll let go. And we'll quickly grab again. Pull forward. Then we'll let go again. And what we'll do... Hey! <laughs> we can plow! <laughs> Jeez! The things we do. Look at my front weight. Have you ever seen... Such a beautiful front weight. Let's go in cab. <laughs> Damn! Woo! Oh, jeez. <laughs> let's, uh, uh, let's spin that out of the way, shall we? Well, it doesn't look like my, uh, doesn't look like I'm going to tip anytime soon, but a bit of pressure on the old front tyres, that's for sure. But haven't I got the best front weight you have ever seen in your life? <laughs> oh my god, that is ridiculously beautiful. Right, where's my fields? Which ones need ploughing? One of them's bound to need ploughing. Oh, they both. All three of them need ploughing! It was the idea that counts right now. Exactly. This is what I love about this challenge that I came up with. You know. you got to do what you've got to do. And uh, my sexy front... Oh, jeez. It's even pulling the... Every now and again, it's pulling the back up. So it's going like that. Oh, what other bargains was there? Oh, I don't need any of them. But we can plow. I, but I don't know if my tractor's got... <laughs> I don't know if my tractor's got enough power. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on! That's it. Dig them front tyres in. <laughs> oh, it's doing it! Come on! That's it! Push! Push! You're doing me proud, sick... Oh, look at this! The T6 with a 200 horsepower requirement front weight. 
A plow. <laughs> oh, it is the most ugliest setup you've probably ever seen in your life, but can we hire a worker? No, 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 no. It's going to put that out. Worker J could not start tall attachment. Oh, I kind of gathered that. Uh, do you want to, like, um, fold that back up for me and uh, yeah, put the weight back down? Come on. Come on! Come. Uh, I didn't think about the weight of the muncher being that heavy. Yeah, neither did I. Uh, go ahead and buy the weight. I don't think there's going to be one in the used sale. I think they're it. Oh, jeez. I think they do come in the sale. But the whole point of this is, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult. I haven't got a front weight. One didn't turn up in sale, so I'm using a mulcher. <laughs> but it's fine. I'll take it. We've got our front weight. This is struggling with the plow, though. Oh, I need to sort that out. It's hurting my head. But it really is wobbly bobbing. Oh, it's painful, in it? Oh! Come on, dig them tyres in. That's it. Come on. Dig them in. I think we're probably going to have to wait until we get a front weight. I'm going to be here all day. Right, let's jump out. There's my front weight. That's that set up. But look how much it's pulling that back up. I was just thinking out of the box since it's a challenge. Yeah, it did the job. It's just my tractor's not powerful enough for the plough. Imagine that. Is that one? What power are my equipment? Wrong one. Oh, they're all small. 125, 82, 75. Yeah, 125. It has the most power out of all the ones we've got. So, no more bargains, was there? I'm just making sure. No. Okay, well, here we go. What other bargains are we going to get? We've got 200. Just over 200,000. And I really don't like that cinematic there. That, I don't like it. Just visual image of that. I mean, put a sun or a horizon and the sun coming over or something, rather than just that. I mean, all they've done is got lazy and put the camera facing up at the sky. It, that to me, that's just lazy. <laughs> right, so it's October, and what have we got in the bargains today? A hybrid extractor, another Massey Ferguson. We've got a trailer can be used to transport your pallets. Do I really need that? Do I need it? <laughs> this could come in handy though. Hybrid extractor. Bale wrapper. What do you all think to this? Isn't it the one that... <gasps> it's for orchards, though. That's the thing. <sighs> I don't think that's going to help. Another tractor. 145 horsepower. 145. Are you the one for... Attachers. Front weight! A front weight! 105. 105, front weight. It's got a front weight. I'm buying that. Buy this. Or buy the Anderson uh, hybrid extractor. Okay, let's, let's buy this then. There we go. 
A couple of things I wouldn't have thought I would have brought. But, oh, jeez. I wonder how long they've been sat there. Whoops. Right, let's uh, get Frankenstein out of the way. There we are. So we've got a tractor with 145 horsepower and its own built-in front weight. That is what brought this for me. That. Just having a front weight on this. So that's four tractors now. That is brilliant. Oh, this looks nice. Anyone would think I've got a Massey Ferguson fetish. Why is it only the Massey Fergusons that are coming up for offer? Right, so we've got this. This is... is I don't even know how... Oh, you, you load the bale on here, on the back, and it pushes down? I don't really know. I do, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've just brought... The, Uh, can you have all the new toys follow you back to the farm? Uh, follow me isn't hasn't been made yet for FS22, so I can't. <coughs> that is a, a mod. Hopefully it doesn't take long for that to come out. And because there's no JDs. Yeah, I'm, I'm still... I'm, a bit bummed out, really. A bit bugged about the whole Massive Ferguson Harvester situation. There's only the one. And that's the ideal. It's not even red. That is kind of weird. Can this tractor do that plough? That is the next question. Tractor, can you do the plough? It's so brilliant. Alright, let's drop you off there. Can this do it? Is this got Nokians or trailer trailer bug? Okay. So we got th three Massey Fergusons, <laughs> a mulcher, which probably will come in handy at some point. Uh, uh, let's lift that. Let's just put the mulcher here for now. Let's drop you off. Put the plow there and we'll drop the plow off. There we go. This tractor looks bigger than that one though. Hmm. We do have a good amount of tractors so far though. I think we're doing nicely. I think we're doing I think we're doing nicely, Mr. P. Words, please, words. So, so far, we've got a New Holland T6, a Massey Ferguson AL3707, a Massey Ferguson M4708 Dyna 2, and we've just... Alright. Just brought this. The Massey Ferguson FS105. Main reason, the front weight. And it does have 125 horsepower under the hood. So, can't really complain uh, if we go on to here. I mean, we've got this, 105. 125. 82. 75. 105 horsepower for this. Not a lot, but it's got a front weight. Uh, th this is going to struggle with that plow. I'm telling you that right now. But it's got a front weight. <laughs> Probably not heavy enough. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near heavy enough. Uh, I... Touch and go, in it really? <sighs> Is 
Tell you what, I wonder how a worker would get on with this. <laughs> Should we try and put a worker on it? What do you mean there's no field? Look at this. There's clearly a field. Get working. If I can do it, you can. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How? It, 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 it's struggling. Come on, dig in. Dig in, that's it. Dig in. Uh, trying. How? How? Little tractor. How? How are you doing it? Tell me your secret. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Every little time, just do a little wiggle. Alright, worker. How? How are you able to just... How? I want... You need to answer me some questions. Young lady, you're hired. You can stay here forever. She's cracking on... She don't give two shits. She's well in her element. Well, you can plough this field and you can plough the next one. <laughs> <coughs> right, so, let's crack on. We need some more bargains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to turn my camera off quickly and have a quick cigarette. But I still will be here trying to look for the bargains of the century. Yes, the bargains. Why? Because Mr. P is tight and I again thought the screen froze. I'd best save it, hadn't I, really? Let's uh, throw in a save. I'm throwing about five of them because... Uh, if you have played FS22, make sure you save it about five times because your first save, it does sometimes tend to uh, not save it. Or if it does, it'll put it the save back a couple of steps. Say if I harvested this field and then save... I don't think they're able to turn around. You're really struggling over there. What are you doing, young lady? She's trying. She's trying. Bigger tractor that can handle that plow. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what. If we can get her in a straight line again, I think she'll be able to plow a line down there. Like, if we get... There. Come on. Plow that line. <laughs> uh. I mean, what would be good is a big, big weight on the front of one of our tractors. One that isn't like the mulcher that's just overpowered. I tell you what, though, this old girl, she's doing it. Yeah, it's it's struggling. But it's doing it. And it's raining, yeah. <laughs> that definitely isn't helping. Right, but let's have a look at the bargains. We've got a mower. I will actually take that mower. And it requires 80 horsepower. Yes, please. There we go, we've got a mower. 
Underpowered, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think we're gonna have to use the New Holland. And just hope. Tell you what, drop that. We're getting a collection of masses. We've just brought a mower. The T6 is the highest power tractor we've got, so it's just it, we, we need a front weight. We do have our big heavy industrial weight. <laughs> We've got that thing, but uh... Yeah, so what if I lower it down? So it is too heavy, but if I lower it, the worker might do it. Come on, come on. That's it, come on. That's it, go on. Go on. Come on. You can do it. Well, if you can't, I'm going to make you do it. Alright, oh, that's not what we wanted. We need more bargains. We need more bargains. We've only got 166,000 left. It's not looking good. We've not got a planter yet, or a cedar. But we've got enough tractors. We could always sell one of the tractors. Fingers crossed, cedar. Fingers crossed for a cedar. Three, two, one. What have we got? A Fent Vario 300. 142 horsepower. Are you what horsepower are you? 113. No. No, 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 no. Still under power, but it's working better than the other one. Yeah. It's just, as soon as it tries to lift it up, it's just, it just had it, hasn't it? Uh, a loading wagon requires 300 horsepower. I don't think there's anything from there that I need. And where are you going? Let's stop you. Let's lower it down. Let's try and turn. Yeah. You gave it your best. You gave it your best. We do have four tractors now, which is brilliant. I think having these four tractors could be good. But we do need 
a bit more oomph. And we need something that will help with this field. So let's try again. Fingers crossed. What are we going to get? It's a shame that you can't link one tractor to another tractor. So you can have two tractors pull in. I think that would be good. So what have we got? <laughs> oh, these do not help at all. We've got a manure spreader, but... I don't have any header or anything for this. I just don't have the header for it, so... I don't think getting that harvest is going to be any good. Uh, you brought a mower. Try that for a wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, where are you? Not you. That uh, you. Alright, let's detach from you. Let's, yeah, like you said, let's try that mower as a weight. Good thinking there, Jeremy. Thank you very much. Might help if we actually repair this. Whoa, what the hell was that glitch? That was weird. Did anybody else see that glitch? Or is it like the tree that we drove past, like fading in, like randomly in the middle of the screen? That was just weird. Hmm, using this mower as a front weight might just work because of how far it's hanging out forward. Good thinking, Jeremy. Good thinking. Uh, I'm just thinking of a way to plough right now. I know! <laughs> we tried the mulcher. That's just too heavy. If needs be, we're just going to have to throw the mulcher on it and do it that way. It looked like a glitch. Yeah, it did to me as well. It was really weird. So there are bound to be issues with the game. It's not long been out, so... You know, take it with a pinch of salt. But, you know, if the ge if the devs... Uh, the devs. If they if they do patch this game, Giants, uh, I will, of course, restart the save. But we'll start off with all... You know, start off from scratch. All right, how will this work? Let's go. Does this have enough weight? Cross your fingers, Jeremy. Three, two, one. Oh, slightly. If we go slow enough. Oh, oh. Gotta go pretty slow, though. And as you say, if we put the plow down, that m will help with weight. All right, let's put the plow down. Let's see. Oh, we're doing it. Yes. We've got a front weight, everybody. <laughs> We've got a front weight. It's a mower. We could always cut the grass there if needs be. Cut the grass around there. Down there, definitely. Over there. If we need some grass. But we're doing it. Yes, how's it look from inside? It looks hideous. But it's our type of hideous. It's working. Oh, I'm loving this challenge. Uh, it's a little better than the mulcher. Mul yeah. That it is. I think it's just the power requirement we're struggling with at the moment. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. That's it. Dig them wheels in. Come on. See, if I try to hire a worker, they'll open the mower as well and turn the mower on. And I don't want that. <laughs> Alright, let's turn. See if we can turn this. Nice and slow. Let's turn it again. Oh. No, you're going the wrong way. 
How do you turn it the other way? Hmm. How do you turn it the other way? Let's put the idiot menu on. Uh, does it only turn the one way? It shouldn't do. It should turn both ways. Uh, X to unfold. Lower, cruise, select camera. Oh, number pad. There we go. Slowly getting there. Slowly. But surely. We're getting there. Let's see, lower the plow down. Yes. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'll throw my camera back on. Burn everybody's eyeballs. There you go. Well, this is makeshift if ever I've seen it. <coughs> it is putting a lot of pressure on the old tractor. Hmm. Oh, gee, the makeshift front weight. It's beautiful. There we are. Let's lift you up. Oh, it's not precarious at all, is it? Come on, straighten out, that's it. Uh, we're getting somewhere with that idea now. Yeah, no, huh? What if you lowered the mower a little bit? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Get that lowered down. And you fold back up. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, to lower it, I've got to... Is... That's it lowered. Apparently that... Three point linkage doesn't lower, does it? Apparently not. But does that seem better? That seems a little better. It looks absolutely hideous, but it's doing it. <laughs> oh, this is. This is, oh jeez, this is something else. Right, let's lift the plow up. This is basically improvising for everything, isn't it? I mean, we don't have a front weight, so we're using a mower. We tried using a mulcher. <laughs> Actually, having it down is helping. Weirdly. I'm running out of ideas now. You and me both. But it's working. I mean, people are going to come in this stream and go, wait a minute. It's in his field. He's got a mower on the front. A plough on the back. What's he doing? Does he know how the farm sim works? Uh, yay, yay. It's 
It's doing it though. It's doing it. It's making me proud. This is a proud moment for Mr. P. <laughs> Does seem to be turning a lot better though, which is weird. Let's lower this down then. There we go. I mean, if we can get this field ploughed, that would be a great start. I mean, it's going to take a while to get this ploughed, isn't it? But we're underpowered. And we're doing it still. It might be crazy looking, but what you wanted to do was challenge. Was to do a challenge about buying new stuff. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm absolutely loving it. I really am. I'm loving it. Because you don't know what equipment you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to have. You don't know what you're starting with. The only thing is that is guaranteed is the harvester that you start with. Alright, so what I think we'll do is we'll turn the engine off and we'll go and uh, see if uh, there's any more bargains. What, did, what was in there right now? I mean, none of that is going to be useful to us right now. So... Fingers crossed. I tell you what, a cedar that direct drills. A cedar that direct drills. Come on. We've not got one cedar or planter yet. Not even a cultivator. <sighs> so, what have we got? go for the... I don't think you're for this. No, I think you're the smaller one. But that is not going to help. None of those help. Uh, let's hope for a cedar or a small, smaller plow. Yeah! I mean, something, just so we can start cracking on with our fields. So let's skip a day. I mean, I love this challenge. Like you said, it's, it's pushing of what you should realistically do. Oh, jeez, we've got snow. We've got snow. Fingers crossed. Small cedar or a small plow or even a cultivator. <laughs> Couldn't be further away from it, could it? You couldn't be further away. These are not what we want to see. Wrong one. These are not what we want to see. <laughs> but a forage wagon, a forage harvester, or the vibro from Zoom Hammer. A cultivator. Can we, could we use this as a cultivator? We could probably... Probably use this as a cultivator, could we not? Can ya? Oh. <laughs> Can we use this as a cultivator? I would have the same thing you're doing now. I think we might be able to use this as a cultivator. I think. It's only 11,000, so we're going to buy it. And I'm going to see if we can use that as a cultivator. You can try it. Because the ploughing right now, it pains me. But I think that's just going to have to wait till we get a high horsepower tractor. Or a big front weight. But we do have a plough. Right, let's just park the plough up. Or wait. Yeah. 
Alright, let's drop that off there. You. It, oh, jeez, I've just knocked that over. But yeah, if I could use that, that zoom hammer thing that's supposed to go on the back of a slurry tanker. Then it might work. Jeez, it's looking horrible for the morning, isn't it? Because this is the highest horsepower tractor we've got. This T6. <laughs> I mean, if a bigger horsepower tractor comes in, we could always keep this. Probably sell one of the Masseys to get the higher horsepower tractor. I mean, once we brought it, that machinery is ours. We can do what we want with it. So, I think maybe fixing this poor thing as well would really, really help. Right, so which way do you face your that way? I'm hoping we can use this as a cultivator. Big time glitch. Yeah. It happens. Can I use it as a cultivator? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Has our have our prayers been answered with a makeshift cultivator? <laughs> They're supposed to be back on a on the back of a was it Zune Hammer slurry tank? Maybe it's our cultivator. <laughs> oh jeez, we're makeshifting everything today. <coughs> I'm hoping this can cultivate. If it can, we've got ourselves a makeshift cultivator. And I'm happy with that. Right, let's open it out. Can this be our cultivator? We're about to find out. It is! We've got a cultivator! Woohoo! It's makeshift, but it works, and it's the cultivating. It's doing the job. Look at it. It looks fantastic. <laughs> It looks absolutely hideous. But it is cultivating. We've got a cultivator, everybody. Don't panic. Right, let's lift up. And make sure for weight is better than nothing. Yeah, and it cultivates. That is beautiful. We've got a cultivator. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is... I've never seen anybody do something like this. I have never seen anyone do anything like this. Even on 19, I have never seen anybody do this. Oh. But yeah, big up on the uh, on sale challenge. If anybody wants to take it on, feel free and tag me in it. But I'm just happy we can cultivate a field. We can go over to there, we can cultivate that one. All we need now is a cedar, and we've got 155,000 for a cedar. I mean, we haven't got the best harvester, but we've got enough tractors to do the job. I mean, the field's going to be partially ploughed, but, you know. I'm ready for the game now after this challenge. I know, right? I was just sat there and I was like... Because I'm a sucker for used and vintage equipment. I mean, if you watch any of my stuff on uh, Facebook or YouTube, I love using old vintage equipment. And I thought, well, this is the used stuff. What if I come up with a challenge where you're only allowed to use the stuff that comes up for sale? On sale. Like now, I needed a cultivator. 
this shouldn't be, uh, this isn't a cultivator really. I mean, it's for the back of a slurry tank and it injects slurry into the ground as you're going along. But it's my cultivator. <laughs> so it's the Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. Now, you know, if Jeremy, if you see anyone else do it now, you know who did it first. Me. Come on, look at this. Me and me cultivator. Oh, dear. I've got a nice big trailer there. I've got the little trailer over there. I've got four tractors, which is great. So we're not going to be struggling tractor-wise. No, no me. I've been watching FSO on YouTube, on YouTube, and I've been thinking about it, and, and I've been thinking about it till now. I want to get it. Yeah, definitely. No me. What do you mean, Rev? No me. Do you like me cultivator? <laughs> Janky as all hell. Right, Mr. P. Had this idea first. I know, right? It's janky as hell. LOL, Rev. But, oh, I can cultivate my fields with a Zoom Hammer slurry spreader injector. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's doing the job. I don't care. I can cultivate my fields. Only took till the 1st of December. I wasn't here, so I don't know what was set up. <laughs> I'm loving this challenge. I'm loving it. All I need now is one of them rock pickers. That'd be handy, so I can make a little bit of extra money. But we've got 155,000. Hopefully, uh, like we said, Jeremy, a planter or a cedar turns up. Either or will do, because we can harvest both now with our... Uh, Deutschvar harvester with a John Deere corn header. <laughs> uh, Rev missed a lot of the ideas. We had, yeah. How dare you, Rev? No need for it. You missed everything. You missed it all. But I'm just happy. Honestly, I'm just happy I can cultivate and start on the fields. We can start on our fields. Just need a cedar or a planter. Even if it's a small one. I don't care. I just want to be able to get some crop in the ground. And I've only done that because I know it's going to uh, wind Rev up. His OCD will absolutely kick him right in the back end. Just for that one strip there. You're welcome, Rev. <laughs> I'm cooking, remember? Yeah, I know. You're making me some nice food. I bet it smells good. There we go. I'm so glad this come on sale. And it was only 11,000. Pretty cheap. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd leave that strip there just for you until we get a planter or a cedar. <laughs> no, I won't do that because I know how much that'll bug you. I'm not that mean. Uh, anything is better now since we've got the field ploughed. Well, we've got it cultivated. Um, Ploughing... Yeah, I think that's going to have to wait until we get... Uh, a bigger piece of uh, bigger piece of kit, but are both are all the fields cultivated? Let's have a quick look. Uh, off that, all three of our fields are cultivated. Lovely, lovely stuff. 
so there we go let's fold our cultivator up <laughs> dude you're the jankiest cultivator you've ever seen you'd never see anyone else literally just buy this just to cultivate a field would you Zunhammer Guild Technic a slurry spreading oh a slurry injector basically is what that is that's our cultivator for now so what have we got so far let's have a quick look we've got over here we do have our big plow we have a mower we've got the welger trailer we've got a massey ferguson al3007 the massey ferguson m4708 diner 2 we've got a massey ferguson 5s105 uh, over there we've got a mulcher and we've got this beautiful bale wrapper. Okay. And uh, we've got obviously the header that we had. And uh, we've got the Zunhammer Guild Technique uh, Cultivator. And uh, we've got our New Holland T6, which is our most powerful tractor so far. We have the Farmtech Big Boy Trailer, the Fortis 3000. If I tab through, there we go. We have. That didn't fit. That's for a wheel loader. And we have a small chaffer front loader, which is absolutely beautiful. And of course, we've got our uh, our starting harvester, which is the Dutzvar top liner, 1490, and uh, a John Deere corn header plow come on sale as well. So that's always a good thing. Uh, what have we got? Uh, if it's all there. Is then make do yeah exactly I saw it and I'm like I think that'll cultivate literally just cultivate so I brought it but don't need a forage wagon that's the only darn thing so don't need a forage wagon we just need some way to plant and let's just have a quick look at this look look at this this is what we've got as well we've got the TMC is it cancel, cancella, mulcher? Pretty big piece of kit. Did we really need it? Probably not. We just brought it because it'd be a good front weight. So, uh, yeah, let's skip a day. Oh, I'm really, really loving this series. Please, Cedar or a planter. I want to get one. Come on. cedar or a planter before january would be fantastic so three two one what have we got oh oh a 295 horsepower tractor for 121 uh, oh what's this what is this spade prepares first for next own can be used can be used instead of a plow can be used instead of a plow Oh, requires 200 horsepower. I would buy this. But. That 125. Nearly 126 grand. For a tractor. Is a lot of money. It's 205 horsepower. But we need a cedar. I, I really need a cedar. So I'm going to think. I'm going to have to skip on that. I really need a cedar. Unless we sell the mulcher, because we just don't need the mulcher. We could sell that. Let's see what we could sell that we have that we know we're just not going to use. We've got the wheel loader bucket. Let's sell that. Uh, the mulcher, that's oh, 3,000. Might as well keep that thing then. Mower, that's our cultivator. Plow. I mean, I'm not going to get a lot for our tractors. So honestly, it just makes sense to keep them. Uh, we don't need uh, to plow at the moment, Jeremy. That's the thing. We don't need to plow at the moment because literally I've just for now I've just cultivated not plowed 
So we lose a little bit of yield. But if we get, I'd sooner put the money into a cedar. Because as soon as we can seed these fields, the better. I think. I mean, our tractors, they're all low price. There's, there's no point in selling them. I mean, we might as well keep them. They are going to come in handy at some point. We've not really got anything of use right now, elsewise, that we can sell. So, let's throw in a sneaky save. Well, a couple of sneaky saves. I normally press it about four times. Because, uh, as you know, saving does have an issue. It puts you a couple of steps behind of when you saved it and Steam updated. Oh, great. Well, that's not going to be fantastic, is it? But, come on, before January, give me a cedar. Come on, before January, give me a cedar. Come on. That's snow again. Oh, jeez. Come on, cedar. Oh, jeez. Pretty cold. <coughs> okay, so what have we got in the bargain bin today? Two hundred and ninety-five. Oh, what possible horsepower are you? Ninety-four thousand. That is cheap. Two hundred and five. Two hundred and five horsepower. You don't have a front weight, but that's fine. I was thinking about the player you have it now. See if the tractor will pull it without the wheels coming off the ground. This one might do it. Two hundred horsepower. It's 94,000 though. 94, it's going to leave us about 62,000. Buy it, buy it. I think we're going to have to. Yes, we're going to have to. And oh, what's this? Is that wind rower for six grand? Mm. All right, let's see. Here we go. Here's the new edition. Let's see if this bad boy can move that plow. Here we go. It should be able to. Should. He says. We've now got five tractors. Fix and sell your smallest tractor. They're not worth a lot. They're really not. They're really not worth that much. Like 11,000, I think, is the best price for the, the smallest one we've got. Alright, come here, Palau. Go. Can this do it? Oh, yes, we are in business. Oh, and we don't even need a weight. We don't need a weight. Oh, it's Oh, fantastic. We don't need a weight. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. I've never been so happy to be able to pick up a plow. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been so happy to be able to pick up a plow. You're welcome. Yeah. Because I was looking at that last uh, class that was that was on sale. But it was really expensive. Uh, good. Try the mulcher. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try the mulcher. Let's drop that off. See if this can power the mulcher. Alright, let's go. 
It should be able to with five horsepower to spare. Should. Oh, we've done it! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! The sexy class to the rescue! And it's only sliding, obviously, because the snow on the uh, on the ground, but... Oh. Picks it up. Picks it up. Look at this. That is beautiful. Oh, yes. You beautiful beast, you. The class Axion 800. Works with Malmulcher. Doesn't struggle with the plough at all. All we need now is a cedar. And we're well away. This can do the ploughing. Um, it can do the mulching. We've got these three tractors here. One can be hauling. One can be shifting. I would say get rid of it. But they're just, honestly, they're just really not worth that much money. I mean, 23 grand for you. You're 105. 125, 82, 75. I mean, it's 75 horsepower. But, it's only worth 8 grand. There's no point. And the money we're going to put into fixing it, there's just no point. Uh, there we go. We've done something right for a change. I know, right? Right, so we've got a wrapper. We don't have a baler. We've, we do have the option to do sunflowers, corn, or cereal. We've got our makeshift cultivator on the T6. We've got a big, big trailer here, which is fantastic. Um, I mean, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. We've got a mower. Uh, we've got the mulcher. Plow. Oh, and, and this. Oh, look at it. Yes. Come on. Might be worthwhile if we do get a cedar, buying some seed and fertilizer, and then repairing this, fixing this. I think we need to get this fixed. Oh, beautiful. Right. Let's skip a day. And hopefully... We can get... I'm, I'm going to save this. I don't trust it. I'm going to save it like 500 times. I want to make sure that I keep that class. <sighs> now we need a cedar. Yeah, fingers crossed for a cedar, guys. And girls. Fingers crossed. We need a cedar. We don't need necessarily need a direct drill now. We've got a tractor that can pull the plough. We've got our makeshift cultivator. We just need, even if it's a small one, we can chuck one of the small tractors on it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bosh. Oh, another small tractor. What are you? Single roll billet planter. Sugar cane. Don't have a sugar cane harvester. That is, whoa, that is cheap for that. Speed tiller, 475. 49,700. Where are you? Are you in disc arrows? 112, it should be. 112. And it's there for 49,700. Oh, I mean, bargain. We've got a mower. Might be worth getting this. I'm going to get it. There we go. <laughs> windrow. Yeah, just took it. So we've got the mower. Got the windrower. Uh, all we need is a baler. And we could... Uh, make some bales and throw the bales in there. To start making money. Um, we're not doing bad. Not doing bad. Uh, what horsepower are you? You are 82. Yeah, you're, you're not really going to help. 
Right, so fingers crossed. Cedar. Think a mental image. Think of cedar. Come on, give me that cedar. Give me that cedar. It doesn't even need to be a di direct drill anymore. No more tractors. Nope, we don't need any more tractors. Uh, the small tractor can pull the wind rubber. Yep. Um, we've got weeds growing again already. Are you freaking kidding? Uh, holy shit. Thanks there, Margaret, for that like. There you go. Big fat thumbs up for yourself. I hope you're having an amazing day. And it, wow, it's snowing. So, fingers crossed. What are we going to get? There are no items. Oh, you screwed me. No. Oh, come on. No items. Come on now. What is that? No items. Well, let's sleep. <coughs> <coughs> Not happy about that. All them things that they could have thrown in there for like a Christmas giveaway. For me. But no. Got ya! LOL. Yeah. <laughs> that you did. That you did. Right, so the 8th of January. Come on, start of a new year. What we got? Another bleeding wrapper and another trailer. Don't need any of those. Don't need them. Don't need them. It got me too, says Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Definitely makes the old uh, back end pucker. It's snow again already. Jeez, that's not good. Right, come on, see. Oh, ge what, January the 16th, and you're giving me snow? What? Fuck off! Not taking that, no. Oh, 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 oh. It's a planter. It's not a seed, it's a planter. But we can plant. You're mine, and it's only four thousand seven hundred. Well, no, mine. We're, we're taking you. Thank you. Good piece of business. Bye. <laughs> uh, what's this? This car is used for shallow cultivation of fields. Three meters. Don't really need to cultivate it now. We literally got. Well, we got your friend at the side of you. Look, look at that. Oh, it is so lovely. I wasn't paying attention to anything but laughing. Get it. Right, right. Get it. Alright, so... Get out of that. Oh, 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 mine. It will work with a corn header. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Give. I love it. I got all of you tonight. Yep. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Just as that, Jeremy said, you sure did. Oh, we can plant. I thought it would cost us a lot more than that to be able to get some crops in the ground. Really did. But we can finally get some crops in the ground. Really, really happy. I mean, it's either corn or sunflowers. Because <laughs> we can't harvest anything else. But at least we're getting crops in the ground. And I didn't take notice. Does this take fertilizer? Look at you, you little beastie. Nom nom nom. And I picked the one without the front three point linkage, so I could have picked that up and the windrower. Smart move, Mr. P. Smart move. You watch this, will be too heavy for this. It'll be like, <laughs> lift me up, will you? Go back to your farm. Um G 
Jeez. Uh, things are starting to look everybody now since it's a new year. I know. Oh, seed and fertilize. Oh, we hit the jackpot. Fucking bang on. You watch, as soon as I fill this up, it's going to go. I sit right next to her and she got me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's solid fertilizer this takes, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. This is the only time we're allowed to go in the store. So, solid fertilizer. We will buy two of you. And seed two of you. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be planting. What map are you on? I am on Elm Creek. Wow, that filled up really fast. <laughs> uh, mostly sneaky. Margaret can be very sneaky. Sneaky like a snake. Oh, i got a feeling this is going to tip as soon as this picks up. Is it going to tip? No. Ah. Oh. I was like, oh, we're struggling. No, we're not. I stuck on one of the bags. Oh, yeah. Yepers, Jeremy. Jeez, this road's slippery. But we can plant. So what are we doing? Sunflowers or corn? What are we doing? Sunflowers or corn? That's a good thing in a way. Yep. Sunflowers or corn? I should say whichever just pays the most. Did that sign just glitch? Sunflowers. There we go. What I think we'll do is some flower some flowers. Yep. I'm gonna drop that off. This one hasn't got the front weight on it. So I'm gonna go get the one that has the front weight on it. Or both. Oh, could do both. But I'm just happy to get some crops in the ground. There you are. There you are, you beautiful little beastie. Let's grab you. Or both. Two out does my thought. Oh no. It's that cold and he's walking around in shorts. Are you mad? Crazy. Alright. Oh, yes. <sighs> Go on. Go on. <sighs> oh, that is weird looking. Is that really how the ground looks when you plant sunflowers? I've now got to tab through just to make sure I've selected the right crop. Sunflowers, yeah, I did. Okay. Right, well, let's go select that windrower. So there's you on there. Let's grab you. I'll grab that windrower. Uh, on my map, my fields, I might do some contracts. Nice. Oh, get back in your trap, the Mr. P, you sponge. Get some extra money there, Rev. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Gotta get the money somehow. Definitely. I'm so happy. We've, we're getting crops in the ground. Yes! 
you know, I've, I've got a Deutz Var Harvester with a John Deere corn header, but eh, minor details, minor details. But the equipment we've got is really good. I mean, I mean, we've got a wrapper that can do square or round bales. So we sh should be all right. I mean, getting a bucket or forks or something uh, for that little thing there would be really handy so we could start loading up some things. Uh, possibly a little small flatbed would be good. Uh, stay on the right side of the road, Mr. P. I oh, know, I know, right? I'm dreadful. I'm dreadful. Here we go. Got a windrow it. There you go, Jeremy. You happy? And we're in the slow lane. <laughs> it's not because I'm driving slow, it's just because I'm slow in general. <laughs> oh dear. And I got beacons! Look at those bad boys! Look! Beacons! I mean, we're finally getting somewhere. We've got a good amount of tractors. Wind rower, we've got mower. Don't have a baler, don't have a cedar. But we've got a planter. At least we can get crops in the ground. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. We can finally start making some money back. Which I'm really happy about. I don't see many don't see many cars on the road right now, do you? Don't blame them, I don't think I'd want to be driving on this road in this weather either. In all fairness. There isn't really a lot of storage space on this map, is there? That's what I don't like. There isn't a lot of storage space. Okay, now you can move over. But... I don't want to! <laughs> Alright, let's put you there. Okay, hurry back. We'll be listening, doing the dishes, and do the eggs. Ooh. Nice. Need to move some of this stuff out of the way. There we are. Grab that. Honestly, I don't think I've ever driven down the back of this thing. It's... I know there's in here, but jeez, it, it is tight. Um. Toit, Luigi Toiga. This for now. I mean, if that was a storage unit, that'd be handy. You know, with some big doors on it. That'd help rather than just having a useless building there that can't do anything. It is a useless building, and I'm not just saying that, and there's no door there. No, it's. It's a useless building. Uh, Mr. P, I do have a sausage and ash brands in front of me right now. Go off, people, quick, can't you? <laughs> oh, I'd love that. I have a full breakfast. Sausage, eggs, bacon, tomatoes, toast, ash browns. You know, the works. I'm glad we got this. This is handy. Handy piece of kit. Swing around. I don't know why I did that. I mean, it's, uh, I have no idea why I did that. Oh, can you stop talking about smoke dam? Oh, 
smoked ham this, smoked ham that, smoked ham this, or Mr. P don't get any smoked ham. I don't even know if this will fit, oh, pay attention. I don't even know if this will fit through that door. I mean, the dev, the developers, obviously giants, haven't thought things through when it comes to these maps, have they? There's like little to no fucking room. I turned the other bloody thing on, didn't I? I turned that on. <laughs> Tell you what is good. Smoked gammon. Gammon? Or oh, roasted ham with a honey glaze. Oh, yes, please. Uh, sure you can, but I don't know how good it'll be once it gets these. I know. Share. Share. Just just, just share. That, that, that's all that needs to be done. Just share. Right, I'm just going to quickly nip to the short fat man's room. I will be back in one minute. Turn my camera off because I'll have a sneaky cigarette when I get back. Back in one second. Right, so I'm back. Short Fat Man is here, but I'm going to have a quick cigarette. So, Jeremy, Rev, what do you think to my challenge? 
the Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. I love the fact, personally, I love the fact that you don't know what you're going to get. You can't just go, oh yeah, well I want that, I want that, and I want that. It all depends on what, what comes up. I mean, you saw how much we struggled with literally just trying to find a weight. And we still haven't found a weight. But I think a weight still would be handy. Yes, we now have the class. Is it class Zerion or something like that? Arion? Arion? Axion? I mean, they've got a lot, all like, like spacious names, ain't they? Alright, let's quickly... Wow, that really didn't use a lot of seed. Okay. But yeah, what do you think to the challenge? Right, let's get these planted. I'm hoping during these growth stages we get a fertilizer. Because I'm glad that we've got this, because this fertilizer and seeds at the same time. I mean, that is beautiful. You know, we've got really lucky with that. And the fact that Oh, look at it go. And the fact it was dirt cheap. And it's not using that much seed. Jeremy, love the challenge. Good. Good. Um, if you're on Rev's Discord, ask Rev. I'm sure you could jump on mine. It's, or just on Messenger. Just send me some pictures of how you're doing on the challenge, if you do it. Or on my Discord. Either or. I mean, I'd love to see how other people get on. I'd love to see how you get on, I'd love to see how Rev gets on, and anybody else watching this video, if you do try this challenge, let me know. Go onto my Facebook page, send me a message, say, look Mr. P, I've tried your challenge, I've done your challenge, this is what I got, this is how well I did, this is my starting equipment. And I mean, the tractor that shocked me, yeah, it was this. This shocked me. But our other little Massey, the Massey that could, you know. Oh, we're getting crops in the ground now. I believe we are friends on Discord. I hope so, because then you could always send me the pictures of how you do. I'd love to see them. Alright, so we've now got... I'm so happy with this. It was expensive, but it's definitely going to help. Have I left the lights on, or is that just the way they look? Just metallic. Hmm. Okay. I would say, say skip a day. But, this is a cultivator in it for shallow fields. Yeah, I don't want that. I've got the Zoom Hammer. That's weird and works. And a lot wider. Do we have anything else at the store? We have my harvester at the store. That's right, isn't it? Let's bring that bad boy back. There we go. With the John Deere corn header. <laughs> Weird, wacky, but works. I am looking. I want like a, a bucket or some forks for this to make it easier with these. And, like a little flatbed trailer. I think that would be handy little thing to have that. Uh, I might try and do a stream when I get the game and tag you and Rev in it. Oh, hell yeah. Go for it, buddy. Go for it. <laughs> I would definitely sit and watch. That's for sure. I'd love to see somebody else do this challenge. Because the fun fact is, with me, I don't like really like picking new low-powered machinery. But this has forced me to do it. 
basically the game forces you to say this isn't what I I do but you know like corn header I mean look I got this from for John Deere but the chances of me getting another corn header that would f be the right size for this thing you know I mean look how long it took us to get a, 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 a planter let alone a cedar Oh, somebody's walking out. You cold buddy? That's pretty cool, just seeing them walk out of their garden. Did he seriously come out and check his mail? Sure he did. I'm sure he came out, checked his mailbox and then went back in. Oh, how cool is that? I like that. That was good. Right, Harvester, I think you're going to go down here for now. Just there. That'll do, I think. Actually, a bit more. Weird setup, but it works, and I got stuck. Quick, run through here, warm up. And for anybody that doesn't know, those doors do open. So does that one, and you can get all the way up the top, up there, and shimmy across the boards. I don't know why, because uh, it's there's, there's nothing really up there that you can do anything with. But for anybody that doesn't know as well, if you go here, you can actually go down here, down there to the other side. And if you go through here, it actually brings you up around the back and the side. There you are, there's that. And through the back, you can go up. <coughs> up the top. Up here. If The stairs are really janky. I mean, janky is anything. But, you know, it is what it is. But up here, you've got a basketball, a bag... It's not really anything of note up here. So, as you can see, nothing really there. Lost across here. Nothing there. Nothing over there. Uh, if we can get my short, fat, stubby little legs across. And there. Nothing there. And I can stand and watch other people work hard. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to do something about them weeds. Uh, because I'm planting in, it should get rid of them. Fingers crossed, should. Should get rid of them weeds. But yeah, we do need to figure out a way. Can you get full damage? Mm, of course you can't. It does annoy me though that they, like, like Revs said... It's a step back with a house, not being able to go inside. Just stepping at the door. That's FS old esque. That's that's a, that's a letdown. But yeah, if you see, it is getting rid of the weeds as it comes across them. Let's have a look. General, but I do agree, we need to get like a a weeder or some sort of small sprayer. A weeder that we can just pull along would be great because it means we don't have to buy any herbicide or anything. But oh geez, you went back a bit fast, didn't you? Steady on. Jeez. I'm thinking, we've only got these three small fields. Do we really need that big trailer? Do we really need this? It is handy to have. I mean, actually, <laughs> that's the point. Does how 
Does that harvester even... Does the, the head even fit over it? I hope so. Let's, uh, let's check first, don't we? Oh, it does. Okay. We will keep it then. Will come in handy. There's that. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know that the worker was still seeding. Yeah, we put them in a different field this time. We do own three fields. We own this one here. This one over there, just here, which they've done. Uh, they're, they're three quarters of the way through this one. And we have through here. We have this one here. Oh, jeez, look at these weeds. What? That is... That is bad. I know we don't need to, but, you know... They're busy doing that. Let's uh, drive on over and we'll sort them out. I know we don't need to. But it's something to do, isn't it? Sort these weeds out for them. Uh, it doesn't hurt to go over the field again, exactly. Don't want to just be stood there. Tell you what would be good, you know, getting that small rock picker, that would be, that would be good. But, uh, just throw my camera back on, and burn your eyeballs, get ready, three, two, one, bosh! There you go. Yes, I've got this on now. My arms are getting cold. Just get cold overnight here. I should say morning. Here we go. Let's crack on. I thought it was going to miss that weed then. I was going to know, don't tell me one little tuft is just going to sit there, look at me as if to say, Oi! You missed me. <laughs> coming back, don't worry, I'm coming back. I'll get you. All right? Be with your friends. Yep, that'll help with the rocks. Yep, and it brings in money. Because we can sell the rocks. Because there's a fair few on that small field. I mean, there's a fair few. Uh, there. A few over there. Some here and there. I keep forgetting that you're in a different time zone. Yeah, it is 2.48 right now. Uh, for me. In the morning. 2.48. In the morning! There we go. Let's lift that up. Close that up. And we'll put that... Right here for now. There we are. Right, how are you getting on? Let's have a look. Have you seriously? St have you stopped? What? Oh, AI. AI. Sometimes you can be uh, something else. Literally, that one. The one strip. Really. Was it one pass, two passes? 
Uh, like Rev and I was talking. Save the rocks and get paid more than you did for the small load. Yeah. Definitely agree with you on that one. I mean, look at this. We've done nearly two fields. And we're going to be running out of seed soon. Nine. Please don't make me drive all the way back there. For a little bit. Come on. Come on. Make it, make it, make it. Come on. Seven. Six. Got to drive back there anyway to fill it up. But, you know what I mean. Get in. There we go. That is one field done. Has it skipped that edge? I'm going to have to check that. It looks like it has skipped a bit of that edge. No, it hasn't. Oh, okay. Right, let's lift it up. We'll uh, go top up again. Hasn't used that much fertilizer either. That is uh, really good. <laughs> Planting some flowers in uh, a really cold January. <laughs> you know, because that's what you do. If you do this challenge and you don't get a cedar. <laughs> oh dear. We did get lucky though at the start. With get, being able to get a tractor and a trailer. But that didn't help us out at all in reality. If you think about it, we didn't get this planter until January. I mean... Oh. What? Hey. Hey! No need for that. Right, here we go. Let's top up. And another good thing I saw is if you use some out of a bag the bag actually gets smaller. Which I thought was pretty cool. Let's see it in action. If we jump, just jump out of cab. Over here. Right, you'll see the size of these bags. Watch one of them shrink. You see it slightly shrink? I mean, we've only got 200 litres in here but it's done two fields um, and this was a bag in price what is it six grand something like that four grand can't remember I snapped it up that quickly I didn't really see <sighs> oh. but growth uh, growth stages I think we worked it out it's seven days. Rafe was telling me seven days, I think, is the growth. So we've got seven days to skip. Unless we get a fertilizer spreader. Uh, we need to find the fork for the small lift. Yeah. That would be very handy. Alright, so let's throw this in this field. Because I want to get all of these fields growing. There we go. So then when we skip the days to find some more bargains, these can be growing in the background. Right, there we go. You get planting. Okay. The hell? Get out of it! Go on, get! Well, I was going to say, bloody hell, they moved quick, didn't they? But yeah, finding some forks for that little thing that we've got. Would be handy. That's why I'm leaving it down there, just in case we do get the forks. Oh. You can change the speed of the growth of the seeds. What, in, in 22? Can you? Oh, let me just move that. Uh. Jeez. 
Uh, a harvesting job there. Oh, be, oh yeah, you can get lost. I am not doing that. I'll be there all damn day. It's a lot of money though. Fill 31. What should be a massive bloody field? Can we zoom out so I can actually see? Wait there, what what field was it again? Forgot already. Thirty one. Thirty one. That is a big field. Oh, I'd be there all day. Be there all day. Uh food changes. Fill limit, user, worker refills. Days per month, seasonal growth, no. Economic time scale. Actually, we're talking about saving. Let's uh, throw in some saves. There we go, so it's not in there. Uh, help window, colorblind, interactive markers, field information. My leg itches. Temperature unit, radio, range, camera, input, gear shift, sound. Doesn't look like you can. I know it does in 19, but this is 22. I don't think it does. I think it's just seven days. That reminds me of a film. You got seven days. But yeah, in in, in uh, nineteen, I know that it, you could change the the <laughs> speed growth. Ferds, there you go. Big fat thumbs up. How you doing, Ferds? Hope you're doing all right. GUI input switch train speedometer gear shift direction change steering. Vehicle arm, camera sensitivity, dynamic vehicle. Jeez. Thanks out there first. Truly appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, invert camera, reset vehicle camera, radio area unit, field information, interactive markers, colorblind mode, help window, field information, key bindings. That's literally just key bindings. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, save game time scale, real time. Economic difficulty is normal. Season growth. Nope. For people that don't want to do seasons, I've done this one, this challenge, without seasons. So people can, you know, do it. Uh, set whether a specific month should always be visible. I uh, don't even know what they are. Crop destruction, periodic plow, field stone, lime, weeds, dirt, engine start, stop and go breaking, full unit, fuel usage, and workers AI. Yeah, it's not in there. Current change it. I had he just woke up. Well, good morning there, Ferds. Good morning, and my ear itches. On YouTube, it showed where the guy changed the speed of the growth. Well, I'd love to know where he went. <laughs> Honestly, I'd love to know where he went. Right, how are we getting on? Oh, wow, they've nearly done. Beautiful. Unless it was the season one that he was talking about. Well, all you gotta do is switch seasons on. On phone with my son. That's alright, buddy. It's alright. So, how's everyone's day going so far? How's all your days going? Mine's been pretty good. I've had a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Oh, Massey, you're not letting me down. Look at those lights on the front. I do like that. Like the lower lid. 
kind of lights. Beautiful. You're doing a gorgeous job, love. You're doing a gorgeous job. Don't let me down. Stay in the lines. We've all seen how straight my planting is. Come on, don't let me down. My planting lines are just dreadful. I mean, about as straight as a circle. They're just that bad. Right, so that field is done. Just got to remember, just got to make sure. I've got a brain like an absolute sieve. God, these rocks. I want to get these rocks. Do I not have any rocks on this field? Huh. No rocks on this field, but it's planted. Got a fair few rocks on this field. I could do with getting that small rock collector. Uh, good, just the temperature is starting to drop more. Uh, it's at 35 right now. Well, currently, where I am, it is 4 Celsius. 4 Celsius. It's frigging cold. <laughs> 4 Celsius. It be cold. You can say, do I know how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit? Nope. Actually, tell a lie. I think it's... What is it? Add 20 and double it or something like that. I uh, need to fast forward time so we can get the rocks out of the way. I need to fast forward the time so we can get them rocks out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, as soon as this guy's finished, uh, this girl, should I say, is finished, uh, we're going to. I just don't want all this to grow one day ahead than this piece here. I wanted to get all of the fields done so then they're growing whilst we're skipping through the days trying to find some bargains. Hopefully a rock picker, hopefully a cedar. Uh, front weight would be nice. That one does have one built in. Uh, front weight for this would be good, possibly. I mean the class that's just sat around there. Please tell me you're gonna finish this. You are. You're not going to leave a strip down there, are you? No, you're not. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. You're doing a beautiful job. But look how many rocks are here. I mean, that could be a fair bit of money. I mean, I know it's not a lot. Probably about £200. But... Two... <coughs> and uh, if anyone wants to ask, no, you can't catch them. Uh, as soon as you get near them, you go through them. Makes me sad. <sighs> right, so there we go. That is all three of our fields now planted. All with some flowers. I am just so happy. We've actually got some crops in the ground. Let's pull you just there. There we are. There we go. Alright, so let's have a quick look. Up here. Yeah, there we go. Growing, growing, and growing. Actually, how much are some of these fields? This one's 56,000. That's not bad. 49,000. 64. 104. Jeez. Oh, Expensive much. Damn, I gotta sell my soul just to get a field. <coughs> Give me a drink. Come on. There we go. I had to reach around the microphone. Don't want to hit the mic. Mm. Oh, you're 39 degrees. Just looked up Celsius to Fahrenheit. Yeah. Cold. Right, let's get off that screen, shall we? Right, here we go. Let's uh, skip some time. Hopefully, we can get a fertilizer spreader as well. I mean, that would be 
really good. Let's swing around so I'm not staring at the door. Snow again. Look, just look at it coming down. It's like. Pfft. I still don't like that transformation between, you know, sleeping. I mean, they could have done so much more than that. I mean, they had an extra year with the game. An extra year. Uh, and there's still issues, but... I'm just glad it's out. It doesn't take away the fact that I enjoy the game. Yeah, there's issues. There's bound to be. It's not been out long. So, is what it is. Right, bargains, bargains, bargains. What have we got? Wow, that requires... <sighs> Cedar. Oh, that requires 240 horsepower. Proper cultivator. Step deck. Would one of these be handy? Hmm. No. That went nowhere near the power of requirements for that. Finally, a cedar. The first one we've seen. <sighs> and it's 70,720. And that's with 55% off. Uh, I don't need you. I've got a better one. I've got a makeshift one. And it's longer than three meters so we're gonna get that one a skip let's get back in the door let's go to sleep uh, once I get the game I will it will be something new since I haven't played FS 17 or FS 19 Wow really that's gonna be a great new experience for you then buddy Oh, look at it, but we've got weeds. Oh, shit, you twat snow. There's me like, oh, look at the weeds. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, boom, snow. Uh, you suck, weather. It's February. And you're snowing. Where are you? Alaska? Get out of it. Get out of it. <sighs> right, so what bargains have we got? Oh, we've got a pruner. That's not really going to be much use for us right now. Uh, Fermax can be used instead of a plow. Do we really need something like that, though? There's a big old beast, isn't it, with those old back tyres? I don't think we need that though. We've got a plow. This is a cedar. Requires 220 horsepower. 220 horsepower. And my highest horsepower tractor is here. 205. Uh, maybe I should get FS19 and see how bad I can missile no go straight to this because if you go to 19 um get used to everything on that and then come to this it's going to throw you for a loop it really is because things are so much more different so much different on this one than they are there it's just going to throw you off oh, them weeds them weeds them weeds are bugging me more than they should they, they really are. Uh, it's 27 grand, but I don't have 220 horsepower. Just don't have that horsepower. Oh! My ears stop itching. That's why I haven't done 19. Yeah. If I was you, I'd just go straight to 22. Get used to the way that is. It's just going to be so much easier on you because 19 is. Uh, all the menus are different. It'll just literally throw you for a loop. 
because the whole menu and system is totally different. Just leave them for now. Yeah. Nothing we can do with them ones. Fingers crossed for a cedar. Or a... Okay. Oh, he cops. Okay. Come on, what have we got? Lintrack, Bura. You know where you're 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower? 17 grand. What are you? 136. Why would I spend all. Why would I spend 59 grand? Fifty nine and a half on this when it's only thirty six more horsepower than this. This is a hundred horsepower. I uh, hope that I'm able to play the game with Q keyboard and mouse, quicker keyboard and mouse. Should be able to. I play on mouse and keyboard. Or do you mean the opposite of yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Mmm. Right, so do we have any tractors that are actually under a hundred horsepower? We've got you, hundred and five, hundred and twenty five, eighty two, seventy five. We could possibly sell these two but do we need to mm. I mean we do have this oh no don't sell I almost sold it I almost pressed the wrong button and sold it honestly though I we don't need another track. We don't need another tractor. Stop looking at tractors, Mr. P. Stop looking at tractors. Stop it. Get help. Fertilizer. Fertilizer spreaders. Cedars. Fertilizer spreader and cedars is what we need. Uh, I don't have a wheel or pedals or shifter. I don't either. I don't have a steering wheel. I don't have a shifter. I don't have pedals. I use the keyboard. I use the mouse and keyboard for all my games. Unless it's certain games I will use the controller for. But yeah, I don't have steering wheel and pedals, so I won't worry about that one. Alright, what we got? These tractors are still in there. Big. Oh. Would you fit? Mine, are you, are you going to require too much power? It doesn't say that this requires power, but it's pricey. These are still in here. I, I, no, 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 I don't need them. No, turn your back, Mr. P. Turn your back. Don't look at them. They're dirty. Oh, no, don't do that. We need the 200 HP tractor. Yeah, um... Yeah. Almost brain farted and sold it. Oh. oh. So close. Oh, grow, my precious. Grow. Oh, looking gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at them. Just need to get rid of them damn weeds. The weeds. So, what have we got on special this time? Hey, you gotta be kidding me. What is this thing? What are you? You an auger wagon? Inside of my leg itches. Do you know if you're like me, you're short and you're fat, and the inside of your thigh, inside of your leg, like legs, rub together. I get that sometimes because I'm just short and fat. <laughs> no more tractors for now. I know, right? 
don't need any of that. I mean, I mean it bloody hell. It'd be lovely, you know, to get one of these. I mean, the bloody expensive, and this one. I mean, it was it. It's got forty nine percent off, sixty six percent, fifty percent off of the header. Not what I'm looking for. But at least we've got crops in the ground. That's what I'm really happy about. We've got crops in the ground. <sighs> but no more tractors. No more tractors. Unless they're over 200 horsepower. Then, no. Stop it, Mr. P. Stop looking at tractors. I can't help it, though. I can't. Well, properly maintenance, only 32,000, uh, 32,000, 32 pound. Not bad, what have we got, what's this? Sugar cane harvester, a roper, kilo two, we got a half pipe HP 20. You're not really going to help when I've got that big thing over there. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's giving me many deals at the minute. Many deals. But maybe. Maybe we can get some before this is ready to harvest. It is taking a while though. That's pretty worrying. Uh, let's have a quick look on the old uh, chart. Okay, so it's about here. Halfway. Okay. <coughs> Halfway through the growth stage. Don't forget to save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because there is, if anybody is watching, there is an issue with the save function. If you save, it will actually save it a couple of steps back. It is frustrating, to say the least. But thanks there, Jeremy, for reminding me to throw in about 500 saves. Always handy. Because I, I save five times, one after another, and that seems to work. Throw a couple more in just for good luck. Because I'm like that. Alright, there we go. We've saved. So, what bargains have we got this time? Kawiku. What do you pick up? No, you don't. You're literally just. No. We don't need these. They're bring, it's like they're now bringing out spring deals, you know, for the grass and everything. Um, really need a weeder and a cedar. Come on, come on. It's not going to do what it did to us last time. I'm like halfway through the season now. Go, you know what? You've waited long enough. Let's throw one in the sails. This screen worries me. It shouldn't be doing this. That screen worries me. I just don't want you to lose anything. I don't either. I mean, the stuff we got at the start just to try and make do. These don't look like they're growing. That is worrying. They are growing. They are growing. But it is worrying. It doesn't look like they've grown much. Do these ones look any different? Definitely don't want to lose this. Boy, did we need that. We had to wait a long time to get that. Uh, we need to deal with these weeds. It's March the 16th. Come on. <sighs> Alright, so that's 74,000. How much is my harvester actually worth? I could sell my harvester and buy that one. And get 30 grand back. Should I do that? <laughs> Holy shit. 
Dan Quinn. Big thanks. There you go. Big fat thumbs up for yourself. Hope you're having an amazing day. Think about it. We sell ours for 100,000. And we can buy the used one for 74. And we're quids in. Oh, if you had a front loader attacher. 171 horsepower. Oh, game. Why you do this to me? Oh. Why game? Uh, they both hold the same. It's the same harvester that what we've already got, but the second hand one is seventy four thousand four hundred and seventy nine. Yeah, it's got a bit of wear and tear for eight months. But it's only been used for eight months, and it's only got five point five hours and four on it. And I can sell my harvester on here, sell my harvester for a hundred thousand, and that'll give us a good return back. Hundred thousand, right? I'm going to drive it down there because if it's like FS nineteen, you get a little bit more money if you take it there so what I'm going to do is we'll drop that off I'm going to say mine's only done 0, 0 0.2 I mean it's literally just harvested, harvested that one field but if we're going to get nearly 30,000 back and that's a no brainer yeah, it's going to have a lot more wear and tear, but I'm not bothered about that. It's going to give me near, nearly 30,000 back. I mean, I'm going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Laughing all the way to the bank. Yes. Jeez, this is uh, going fast. I'm in the green machine, in the green top, and pants. Where's your hat? He's not wearing one, but you know. Could have done, you never know. Might have bribed him. <laughs> Elton. Mi familia! It'll be something that you don't have to worry about since it's yours. Yeah, exactly. It'll keep going until it falls apart. I mean, and at some point, after we've got harvest, all we've got to do is just repair it. And we're golden. So what we'll do is we'll check how much we get from the main hub to see if, if we do actually get more driving it here. You used to. Don't know if you do now, but you used to. I still want some forks for that little thing over there. So, on the tablet, they're offering us 100,000... 11 100 11 Remember, 100 11 And that here, they're offering us... hundred and ten thousand two hundred and thirty three. Oh, nice! That was stunning. And now I'm going to cry if I do this and then that harvester wasn't back in here. <laughs> right, and we're buying this for 74,479. There we go. And we're up to 79,000. 
profit. <laughs> oh, that is janky as. But I love it. Alright. Uh... Quickie. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at this. Thinking 171 horsepower. But we don't really need it. We don't need it. We need a cedar. Need a se Oh, jeez. I meant to drive the bleeding harvester back. <sighs> really do need a cedar. I uh, really do need some way to spread fertilizer, lime, deal with those weeds. Could always, for now, look at buying another field and quickly throwing some sunflowers in it. Uh, I don't know. How's it looking here, anyway? Pretty basic. I mean, it's the same as what I had, only this has got a bit more wear tearing in it. I mean, five hours, basically, about five and a half hours in real time is what it's got on here. And I mean, that's nothing. I mean, I'm going to put this thing through its paces. I mean, even if it runs a little bit slower, I ain't bothered. At least it can harvest. I've saved myself a fair few quid. Trading in my brand new one for this. <laughs> it's the same harvester, so we know it'll be alright with that header. Don't need to worry about that. I am loving this challenge. It's the Mr. P Gaming's on sale challenge. And we've got crops growing. And why is, that, is he checking the mail again? Look at him. Get a field and grow something for now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. See what we can grab for 79,000. Oh. Possibly buy another bag of seed and fertilizer just in case. Probably a couple of bags of seed. Because I, I can't see us getting what we want right now. It's just not happening, is it? So get that. There we are. For anyone wondering, yes, I've got a used John Deere corn header on my harvester. <laughs> you have three small fields. If you get a bigger field, it will bring more money. Yeah. All right. So we've got six sixty. What's it? What we got. Let's just quickly check. We have 79,000. Wow, more than I thought. Oh, we, this is a pretty big field. 64,000. Field 47. Just behind the farm. That will leave us with a bit of extra money to get more seed, more fertilizer. And throw some something in here. Either corn or sunflowers, whichever is, you know, doing the most money right now. But what are these prices? Fifty six, forty nine. Uh. Get it for now, yeah. Well, there we go. We've just brought field 47. And that is... Just behind there. So, let's get in here. We'll throw a worker on it. Because that's all going to help. 
uh, with it being right there, you're not going to go, f not going too far. Yeah, exactly. It is literally just here, just just there. Here it is. Oh, 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 oh. There's something already in it. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't think of that. I thought, you know what? Get in there straight away and plant. What is already in there? I, I, I didn't check that. Whatever it is, it is ready to harvest. Sunflowers. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, Phil 47, ready to harvest. Let's get in there. Right, let's get our harvester. Let's get in there and... Uh, hopefully have a good harvest. I think what we'll do is we'll grab you. We had to wait a long time for this beautiful tractor. A seriously long time. All right, let's <laughs> let's go. Harvest it and get the money. Yeah. All right, there we go. So that's here. Try the new trailer out. Yeah. Great minds think alike, buddy. Great minds think alike. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pull to the side for now. And here we are in our makeshift... Whatever you want to call it. Uh, what header do you need for the harvester? We've got it. It's the John Deere. <laughs> we got it at a bargain price. It was a steal. I'm telling you, it was a steal. It's the one where I was umming and ahhing whether it'd be all right, whether it'd work. But it should work. Fingers crossed, because I've, I've planted... A lot of sunflowers. It should work. Should. He says. But yeah, rolling in a Deutzvar with a second hand John Deere header. Here we go. Oh, I'm worried. It's running. Doing it! Oh yes! Come on, let's get this harvest. Gorgeous. Looks janky as anything. But it's doing it. The header isn't sitting right, it is too high. But it's doing the job. It's doing the job. And we've just brought this field. And they didn't even spray it. Look at the weeds in this field. Hmm. That's a decent sized field, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, if people come in and watch this now, they're going to go, well, he's, he's, he's already got decent equipment. Go back and watch the start. <laughs> go back and watch the start. You will see the struggles. And there's still struggles. I don't have any weight. I've got a makeshift cultivator. <laughs> But yeah, as soon as we've harvested this, we're going to come in, uh, probably get the class there. Does, 
does this field here need ploughing? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Just throw the cultivator in it and plant. Nice. So quickly try and flip this field and get it replanted. Bagging John Deere header. Uh, from the start to now is a big difference. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> we're slowly getting there. We're now we're now seeing progress. You know, is it the machinery that we really would have wanted? I wasn't expecting that class. I wasn't expecting the trailer. That's the thing with this challenge that I've made. You don't know what you're gonna get. You just don't know what you're going to get. You could get a diamond in the rough. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly go across this way. And then we'll just start doing the up and down. I mean, we've done well. I mean, it took us half a season. Was it half a season? Till, well, till January to get a planter in sales. It was difficult. Trying to plough a field, having makeshift weights. And we can now use the mulcher on these, which is great. That's right, you put yourself in a binder for... Yeah! I mean, what really helped was the uh, makeshift... makeshift cultivator. Basically, it's the back of a... a uh, slurry drill that, you know, drills into the ground and injects slurry. Slurry injector. It's one of those. But I use it as a cultivator because I haven't got one. I am not leaving any any corn, or some flower, should I say, unturned. But yeah, but it's not like you can do anything about it. Because all the things that go on sale are so random, you don't know whether you're going to start off good, you don't know whether you're going to start off bad. I mean, we got pretty lucky at the start. We did get uh, a small tractor and a small trailer in the sale. But, I mean, you look at the tractors we're using now, and... Like I said earlier on, way earlier on, there will be a point where that it wouldn't have mattered, that tractor wouldn't have helped, which it didn't. Yeah, that's what helped a lot. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I mean, look how high that is. Uh, this field's pretty big. I was expecting a bit of a better yield so far. Alright, now let's do the up and down rows. <coughs> Here we go. Let's go in cab for a minute. Yeah, but the slurry injector definitely helped. <laughs> makeshift. Makeshift. We used a mulcher as a makeshift front weight for an, a way too big a plow that none of our tractors could really pull. I mean, we tried everything. We, we slid a mower on the side of it and, and, and all sorts.
Yeah, it looks janky as anything, doesn't it? It looks hard, but you really... You really look cutting it. Yeah, I know, that's... It's kind of weird. I mean, you look... Cutting it higher than what it's showing there, and it definitely. Unless it wobbles and went down a bit. But it's doing the job. I still can't believe how cheap that planter was. I'm really impressed about the planter. in this lane here because it does start again up there I was watching it yeah about as good as my makeshift cultivator uh, slurry injector Which we probably could put on a tractor and have it start over there. Might not be a bad shout. But it might get to us before we've even finished. No, no, no! We can't leave money behind! No, I agree. Jeez. If I had to run out there with a pair of scissors to cut that bad boy down, I would. Oh jeez. We need that money. I still can't believe I managed to sell my Deutz Bar top liner for over 112,000 and buy this second hand one and be better off. It's gorgeous. Right, I think I'll get one more strip done and then what I'll do is I'll throw that slurry injector down. AKA What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? There we go. It is but a scratch. Stop it. There we go. It's almost like I'm playing the game with you right now, yeah. My son called to see if I would give him the okay to join the army. Ooh. Okay. And yeah, I do agree, Jeremy. And, uh... That's a big one there, Rev. That is a big one. What I think I'll do is I'll quickly just cut the engine off there. Here it is, look at this, the slurry injector, the Zoom hammer. This is currently my cultivator right now. So whilst I'm doing this, if I can quickly turn it over and uh, get planting. Ooh. Handrail there, you want to be careful. Look at that, you go through them. It's not realistic at all. Oh, but look how wide this is for a cultivator. Uh, it's not a bad idea, but really worth him worrying about him being in the army. At the end of the day, though, you know, what can you do? If, it, if the boy's mind's made up, then... Kudos to him. Kudos to him. 
poor animal. I know. Well, there you go, you can do that. I'm going to quickly crack on and get this done. Blocked by an object. I'm not an object, I'm your boss. I am your boss. I supply your wages now. That's possibly the best cultivator I've ever had. Uh, we'll go, poor animal. I bet you in just six months I won't have been always behind joining the army. Anyways, I agree. Alright, let's crack on. Let's get this done. What the hell? They're gonna, that's going to catch up really fast. But yeah, Rev, honestly, good luck to him. I mean, to serve his country. Kudos to him. Take, take my hat off to him. Much respect and love to him. Wow, that is moving fast. I might just keep that as my cultivator. <laughs> Seriously, you're going to make me do two rows? Really? Uh, uh, why does it look like you're leaving money behind? I'm not, am I? There's that there, but the head is not that big. I'm going to have to come back and spin around. Wow, they're catching up really fast. I don't really think we're going to make a lot of money on this. So what I might do is... Put, should have put this in the silo because we we're growing we're already growing a lot of sunflower so would it be worth us putting this what we've got now in the silo and then when we've harvested all of our sunflowers put it all together all just just all depend oh jeez look how close they're getting already just all depends on price uh, Mac truck just showed up in a, the used sale. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Put it all together in the silo. Sell it all together. Mm -hmm. And you got a Mac truck in the used section. Suck a fat. That's, that's, that's not allowed, Rev. It's, it's just not allowed. It's against the law. You've got to take it back. Hold it for now and sell it. Yeah. I think that's the best thing to do because we've already got uh, a lot in the fields. Ah, uh, suck a fat, Rev. Suck a fat. Uh, I need to move that tractor and trailer out of the way. here for now. There we are. Yeah, ain't gonna be long and now some flowers are gonna be ready. There we are. Well, there wasn't as much sunflower on that field as I would have liked, but you add it and combine it with add it and combine it, add it is combine it. You mix it with, you put it together with, you join it with, you add it to, you get it. Right. If we put it all together with ours, 
could be a tidy little profit. Tidy little profit. Alright, let's sit you oh, sit you there for a moment. There we are. What's on the sale at the moment? Oh, you're winding me up, Zeta. <laughs> Where's my damn Mack truck, huh? What am I doing? I need... It's over here. I was looking for it. I'm like, where is it? Where's my planter? I took that over there and I didn't even believe need it. Ugh. My seventy-two percent on seed might be enough. Might. Jeez, that's got three quarters done already. Holy shit! Damn, look at it go. I'm keeping that as my cultivator. That's it. The zoom hammer, slurry injector. Uh, check your guy before you fast forward. Yeah. Come on. Whoopi. Oh, yeah. Right, they're doing fine. So we need to basically move this out of the way. It wasn't used. They've nearly got this field completely cultivated. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we're going to get a good yield of some flowers. Probably not going to get as much money as I'd like. But, as the saying goes, anything's better than nothing. I'll leave that there. That tractor. Why have I never picked this tractor before? I don't even think I picked that tractor in 19. I mean, I would have never have picked this thing. Probably never would have picked that. Or that. Well, actually, no, I probably would have picked that because I'm tired and I like old equipment. This probably wouldn't have picked that either. I mean, there enough all of this equipment, I probably wouldn't have picked. Look at that visual glitch. Can you see over where the house is? Where the sleep trigger is? The little handrail there? I need to find one more field to make the money or do a contract. I don't have enough money for a field. A worker has completed their task. You was bloody fast. That was fast. And the good thing is, I think, if we go into my equipment, slurry, and it requires 80 horsepower, and it's a 6.2 meter cultivator. I will take that. Thank you very much. We'll crack on. Might be able to find some cultivating jobs. Hey, whoa, that was a bit of a dip. Is there any cultivating jobs? Right, let's just geez, take that off. There we go. Um, cultivating one, one job for four hundred and forty-one pounds. All the rest is harvesting, sowing. Thirteen grand for harvesting. Field seventy. How big is field seventy? It's 
probably going to be massive. Oh, jeez. That's going to take ages in a cotton harvester. They're mostly harvesting contracts. Mm. That's this. Harvest corn and fill 55 and take it to the product. Take the product to the cereal factory. How far is the cereal factory? That's the question. Potatoes. Oh, you are no harvesting. Jeez, oh, all these big contracts are going to take a long, long time. Unless I literally just throw a worker on it. But then again, that's just going to cost too much money on a worker, really, isn't it? The whole point is to earn this money without having to mess around again cotton filled 34 just got a t6 well you know how good mine is there it is look at it it's gorgeous I still can't believe there's only one cultivating contract that's that's thrown me for a loop there, just the one cultivating contract. Give me your weight. I want his weight. Force him to give me it. It's not playing fair. Alright, let's reverse you in here. Yeah, the trusty old T6. It's done well for me, Rev, so I'm sure it'll be great for you. Um, do I really want to throw this out on a harvesting contract? Because they're really not that good. What fields are near us? 40s and 50s. 40s and 50s. Fifty-two, fifty-five, fifty-two and fifty-five. Fifty-two's there, fifty-five's there. Okay, well, suppose we could do fifty-two, fifty-five. One thousand six hundred. Go for it. Field fifty five. Corn. All right. All right how do I get there? I need to go. Oh, it's over the other side. Okay. So, I need to swing around this way. There we are. Oh! Uh, yeah, not my field, don't care. Coming through! Your canola field. You didn't see a thing, mate. Close your eyes. Shh. How's your fuel? Uh, for the harvester, it's pretty good. I'd have to check on the. Oh, shh. Uh. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to put an attempted. We're gonna go for it. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... Uh... Okay, that was actually... Okay! This... I 
actually looks a smaller field than we've just done. So, shouldn't take that long. Shouldn't take that long, he says. going on Now all of a sudden it's screwing up. I've literally just harvested a field. How can it mess up now? Is there any way to slightly lift that up? Uh, lift header. Change cruise control speed. There we go, worker. No, I thought if I slowly try and lift the header, <coughs> you know. But apparently that isn't an option, even though in real life you'd be able to, you know, adjust the height. Literally just harvested a field with this. Anyway, no. Hmm. Ah, 
gonna have to cancel this job. Uh, that is freaking weird. One minute it works, then it doesn't. Yeah, we're gonna have to just call that there and just cancel that mission because we're not gonna be able to do it like that. That is annoying to cancel that job. You'll lose all payments, yes. Oh. Don't know what happened there. And now it's fine there. Really? Really, game? Oh. When you went in the ditch, you could have messed something up. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, best go in the ditch again and try and fix it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh jeez, look where you go in. A tree jumped out of nowhere, you saw it. But yeah, I find that weird how we did fine with the sunflowers, but as soon as it come to the corn, is it because with corn the header needs to be lower to the ground? And you need to hurry up and move or you're going to become somebody's breakfast? Yes, she did. Fantastic. We've got a ghost. It's Casper. Run for your life. At least it harvested some flowers. At least we know it can't harvest corn, but it can harvest some flowers. And that's what we've planted. And holy shit, you've gone a long way. Wow, you really haven't got that much left to do. And then we can look for some bargains. We can look for some bargains. Wait, 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 wait. There's only 6% left. Hey, you should take it to the garage and fix it up. Yeah! I just want to fill this up with seed first. You need a D rocker. Yeah, I do. I said that a while back. Getting a D rocker would be good. Just to bring in that extra little bit of money. And help. Uh, with uh, soil. But it's all about what comes out. And right now, we're getting these. Is what it is. Can't be helped. Here we go. Let's uh, fill these up. Let's, that. Let's get the smaller bag of seed. As again, you'll see it does shrink. There you are. Which I do like. The bag doesn't seem to stay stay the same size, so you know which one's got more in it and which one's got less in it. That's great. 
without having to point your cursor and all that at it, you can visually see which one's got the least in it. I do like that. Well, we'll throw this back in the field, get this uh, cracking on again. But I could do with a D rocker. Could do with that. I only got 13,732 left. Money wise, honestly, I don't think we've done too bad. Could we have spent a little bit better at the start? Yeah. But you know, we were trying to do things that were makeshift. Yeah, you can only do what you can do. Right, here we go. Get out of my field. I'm gonna hit that, aren't I? Of course I am. Straighten that a little bit. Away. Keep your ear on. Right, I'm just going to turn the camera off, have a quick cigarette, but I still will be here. And let me know, how do you think I am doing so far? What do you think of this challenge? I absolutely love this challenge. It's like the farm sim lottery. You don't know what equipment you're going to get. You don't know what condition it's in. All you know is you start in Harvester, and that is it. <laughs> That's all you know, is you're starting off with a Harvester. And whatever money you get from selling off all the rest of the equipment. Oh dear. So what map did you start it on then, Rev? And you're going to have to do a live stream with it. I think that's going to be fun. The Mr. P Gaming's... On sale challenge. It just adds a new dynamic to it. Hey Ron, how you doing buddy? There you go. The big fat thumbs up for you my friend. How are you doing? Uh, I didn't... Oh... Uh... Run there from Rev. Has it been that long? <laughs> what we're expecting next is that running hug. Well, thanks, and a big fat thumbs up there for you, Ron. Truly do appreciate that, my friend. With a big fat thumbs up. Oh, dear. So, for anybody that has just come in. I have created a challenge on Farming Simulator 22. It's called Mr. P Gaming's On Sale Challenge. You start at the start of whichever map you choose. You have to sell every piece of equipment on the start apart from your harvester. The only equipment that you are allowed to buy are the ones that show up in the used vehicle sale. Those are the only pieces of equipment that you are allowed to buy, and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> and it's absolutely brilliant. I am absolutely loving this challenge. Good you. I am absolutely fantastic, Ron, actually. I'm, I'm having a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Slightly tired, but I'm always damn tired. <laughs> so I won't worry about that. We'll just have a quick tour around the equipment for you here, Rom. 
Right here, we have a Massey Fergus, uh, just stop for a minute, 5S 105 with the Falcon Agromas planter. <coughs> Mind, all these were on sale, half price, quarter of the price off, 60, 70% off some of them. The only one that, well, actually, I was going the only one that wasn't was the Harvester, but it is. Only the header and the header trailer now. So, uh, we managed to get on a good bargain deal a mower, a plow. Uh, we got the uh, Cancella Mulcher. Uh, we got a New Holland T6. We've got a Zunhammer Slurry Injector, but I'm using it as a cultivator. Um, as you can see, you've got the header and the header trailer. These are the only things now that are new. Uh, I did have one of these, but I traded that one, my brand new one in for this second hand one, just to get a bit more money. Uh, we've got a John Deere corn header, because it was on sale. Uh, we've got this, which is a X hybrid tractor bell wrapper dinghy doodah. Uh, we've got a Dyna 2 a Massey Ferguson 4708M. What else have we got around here? We have another trailer, which is the Welga. And I've got a Massey Ferguson 3707AL, which is really, really nice. And if we scroll through, I've also got a Shaffer. I'm just waiting for in the sales to get some forks for this thing, or a at least a bucket or something anything will do just so I can pick these bags up I mean this is going to be a handy little thing so I think it's really going to help out so that is the plan and that's the equipment we have that's not really the plan is it if I show you the equipment that's the equipment and the plan is to succeed we've just brought this field we've just harvested it and there's a fair few rocks in it so I want to get this field done and uh, skip a day, check the bargains, hopefully some good stuff's come up. So what's everybody's plans for tomorrow? Do you have any plans? I know Rev Simulation wants to give me the ham that he's cooking. <laughs> I wish. How do you like the game so far? I actually really like it. I mean, it does have its issues. I mean, it's not long been out. There are flickering issues. There's AI issues. There's visual glitches here and there. Um, but, you know, so far, I am actually really enjoying it. I really am. Glitches and bugs and all, I'm enjoying it. It is worth the money because I know the the the. I do know for a fact that, you know, they are working on a patch for it. So, yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. The starting maps, on the other hand, um, they are both to be, well, all three of them, Ellen Gratters included, uh, they're all to be desired. I mean, they had an extra year to make the game. I mean, they could have made the maps a bit better. You know, and as I said to Rev Simulation, um, we were talking about the rock picking, and I'm like, yeah, but I think personally it's going to end up like the weeds situation. You know, it, yeah, it's alright, it's new for a start, but every time you cultivate and that, it kicks up stones. You really, after every time you've harvested, going to be wanting to go out and pick up stones in a game. Uh, you know, some people are going to get bored of it and probably turn it off. Uh, I'm going to smoke more ham and turkey with some homemade barbecue meatballs and barbecue... Ro oh, jeez. Really? That sounds so damn good. Oh. Just put, it's getting old quick. Yeah, it, that it does. That it does. Like I say, it's going to be like one of them things like weeds. The novelty will wear off and people will just forget about it and turn it off. 
because in all fairness you don't really get that much money for it and as it stands at the minute the AI some of the AI some of the fields it doesn't register them as fields but it's I've noticed it is only with small equipment though it is only with small equipment none of the big stuff Jeremy, but you asked for it again, Mr. P. Yes, I did. Food. I mean, who doesn't want free food? Especially smoked ham. Oh. Barbecue and meatballs in a bar. Oh. Gonna make me dribble. Oh. That just sounds so damn good. Is it? You can send me it via airmail. That's going to make sure that try and keep it warm. <laughs> but I'm sure that'd be a tall task. So he's asking you keep his food warm for him. Or send it via plane and ask him to put it in the area where they heat all the microwave meals up that they give you on the plane. So leave it in there. Cook it for him, will you? do that so what do you think to it then Jeremy uh, uh, Ron everybody what what do you what are your thoughts on farm sim 22 what's your pros what's your cons the only thing that's concerning me is you know I'm doing well with this series I am uh, but I, I'm not sure if with the new patch when that comes out will a new save be needed Will it, you know, as as other games have done, you know, if they try to fix these issues, will it bring up other little issues? You know, it's one of those things. You patch one thing and it breaks another two. Uh, don't think it'd work like that. Why not? Don't have it yet, says Ron. Oh. Well, it's definitely a game you need to get, Ron. It, it is good. Even with all the little quirks it has at the minute, it is still a really, really good and enjoyable game. And uh, Jeremy's book. If it wasn't for the rocks, it would be good. Um, Yeah, like I said, I can see the novelty of the rocks wearing off. I mean, in real life, would you get this many rocks? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not a farmer, you know? You'd see the occasional big rock, I mean, be brought up to the surface, but would you, see, would you see this many in a field like this every time? That's the question, I mean... Hmm. And I mean weeds again, look at it, they're all over the place. I don't either, but I don't mind putting my opinion in on the game, yeah. Oh, go for it. What is what is your opinion there, Jeremy? What's your opinion on it? Let's throw the camera back on. Burn your eyeballs. There we go. Short fat man is back. Oh, and there we go. It is done. Yes, our fourth field. Wait, 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 wait. What is this over here? What is that strip? What is that light strip there? Is that fertilizer? Is that because that bit of the field's been fertilized before? Let's have a look. Can't see because my bleeding walking arrow's in the way. Let's get in this and out of the way. There we go. No. Hmm. So what is that line? Is the fertilizer? I would say it's the fertilizer ran out, but it obviously hasn't. It's 
Hmm. Other than the rocks, I'd have fun. Honestly, to start off with, collecting the rocks is fun. But then, you know, like we've said, the novelty does wear off. Uh, from what I've seen, I would play it non-stop. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those go games. You do a little bit and you're like, oh, actually, I could just do that bit. I, I could just do that bit. Just do that bit. But, yeah, it, it is a very, very good game. But, oh, there's a kitten under my foot. Okay, okay. Alright, so our sunflowers are growing nicely. They don't even look like they've grown that much, in all fairness. But Alright, we're doing here. What we'll do is, as we always do, throw in that sneaky save. I always say, save it five times, because there is an issue with the save function. It does put you... Like three, three steps back from what you've already done, so you you do need to be careful. Make sure you do save it little and often, because it does have its uh, little niggles. All right, so let's skip the day and uh, see what bargains we've got in store for us this time. All right, just like ETS two, play for a little bit and move to ATS and Hunter. Yeah. So I tr do try to diversify between games, but you do get hooked on some games more than others. So, all right. So let's have a look. What have we got in the bargain bin today? We've got a mana two. We've got the leader eco mode, and you, you three are way too expensive and out of my price range. You suck. And you know you do, you suck. And you know you do. Oh, it ain't going to be too long on our fields. are going to be ready. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five tractors. Five tractors, one harvester. And I do like the new map setup, how it's got it like this. I do like that. Rather than just having the silly little dot and you have to, like, spam through the tab button just to try and find what you want. It is a lot easier like that to see which things where. So I do like that. That is nice. <coughs> I don't like this screen. When you go to sleep, it does this. Sometimes it has a tendency to the screen to go black and look weird. Now you, I'm always looking for a different game that I would like to play. Yeah, exactly. That's the same as me. You know, you've got to have a look around, see if there's any games out there that tickle your fancy. Right now, some flowers are looking good. Still need to get rid of these weeds. Hoping to find a, a, a bargain of a weeder or some spray or something. That would be nice, but we've only got 13 grand. This has got, wow, the Roper Tiger 6S. Has got 34% off and it's still 326,000. Ouch! That is really cheap. Cheap for a try on. That is really cheap. What's this? This is a topper, I believe. A healing topper. Yep! Well, it doesn't look like this day is going to be our day. So, uh. Again, let's, uh. Skip a day. Need to find some good bargains in our price range. We have got some really good bargains in our fan, that's gotta say. Alright, so how we're we looking. Oh darker. Oh gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, we do already have some harvest in there, so what we got? A baler, twenty-five thousand. Oh, there's a baler. Wow, 154,839 for this. 670 horsepower. Oh. Oh, 
you're teasing me now. Teasing me. And there's a bailer. I've only got 13,000. Oh. What'd you find on Mac and Trailer? I hope not, because I don't have the money for them. There's a bailer. Oh. It needs to be nice to me and give me something in my price range. Because we are finding some pretty good stuff, but it's just the funds. I mean, once we've got our, our sunflower harvest done, you know, uh, it's, it's bigger than the 200 you have. Yeah, it's just the price. By the time, if I've sold, sold the, the, uh, the class, I'm still not going to have enough for it. Mm. What's this? 150 horsepower. Fent 714 Varia with Trellaborgs doesn't seem too bad. 86,000 though, that is really steep. I have the Mac and Trailer, says Rev. Mm -hmm. What? 114,000 for the class axial flow. How is that even possible? Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> it's alright buying that though, but then you've got to try and hope that the header turns up. That's the thing. It's alright saying, oh yeah, there's a bargain of a harvester. you got to wait for the header to turn up. Well, hopefully after a good harvest, that'll bring in a f fair amount of money. Fingers crossed. Right, how long have we got left? Looks like it's near enough nearing the end of the growing stage, which is uh, bang on. Uh, hardy sprayer, 17,000. Oh, a sprayer! I need this sprayer. I need this. I need it to, sp to spray my fields. Uh, I think we might have to end up just selling a trap, though. We do have five. We've got the T6 over there. We do have the class, which is around there. Um, you're the one I want to keep. Uh, oh, thank you, little miss. Seventeen thousand. Let's have a look at what we've got. You're 105. You're 125. 82. And 75. We do have the class Axion. I think it might just be worthwhile selling these two. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell these two. There we go. So we've got the uh, 5S105, the T6, and we've got the Class Axion, which is our highest horsepower tractor. But that does mean we can now get this and still have a little bit of money to spare. What are you doing? Go on. Where's the other one? Where's she gone? Can't see her. Don't know where the other kitten's gone. So I think we should be good. Right, what we'll do is we'll do a bit of spraying. So I think... I want to get rid of them weeds to help improve the yield. Now we've managed to get a sprayer and sell two of our tractors. I mean, two of the smallest ones we had. 
Still got the T6. Uh, we do have the class that is just sat over there with the big trailer. We will have our harvest coming soon, so there's that. So we don't really need to worry about that, he says. <laughs> oh dear. So what I think we'll do is I think we'll do the spraying of our fields. And then I will think I will call the stream there. We've been going for 4 hours and 32 minutes. I was hoping to find some forks. Find some forks for that little thing there. There we are. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Pretty big though, pretty big. I'm happy. All right, what is the capacity of this? Let's have a look. Uh, it's got a capacity of 1,200. Not a lot. Um, uh, we need herbs. Oh, geez, 2,400. That will fill the tank, though. That will fill the tank. Uh, let's hope it's not too heavy for the T6. Oh, yeah. Keep looking at the weight on the front. Oh, okay. That surprised me. I was a little worried. Almost. Oh. Like I said, we do have the class, so... If, if it was too heavy for it, you know, we, we could always just jump in that. That is our big beastie now. We've got that, then it's this, then of course it is a little massy. I didn't look how wide the boom is on this thing. I just saw it was a sprayer and I was like, I need that sprayer. Give me that sprayer. That was, that was my focus. It was sprayer central, that was it. All right, let's see how big this boom actually is. Let's just scoot across. There we go. Are we ready? How big is the boom? Not a bad size. Right, how do I lift this boom? I can't remember for the life of me. Right. Don't be a Mr. P idiot menu. Cross sprayer, lower sprayer, change cruise control. Uh, let's lift that up. Should miss the fence, he says. I say I was worried, like he said, Jeremy, about is is it going to be too heavy for this, especially when we fill it. But seems all right so far. All right, let's kill off these weeds. Yes, that's it. Get gone, weeds. That is beautiful. Come on, yes. We are making great progress. <laughs> I mean, amazing progress. Uh, I pressed the wrong button there. My bad. Whoops, I meant to press D and I pressed H for some reason. I don't, I don't know, don't ask. I have no idea. I know I don't need to spray this side, but I am. Oh 
honestly though, I'm just glad to be spraying my field. I really am. I mean, this field's needed it, and with it being so close to being ready, now being able to get the sprayer now has really helped. And don't hit... The, oh, I was going to say don't hit the house with the boom, but what do you do? You hit the house with the boom. Great start. Alright, let's go. <coughs> I say after this harvest, um, which will be in the next live stream of this, uh, I think we will look at ploughing our fields, getting that done, getting some more money and see what bargains we can get. Do need to look at, of course, uh, getting a baler. Do need to do that. Oh, the old love handle itches. Nothing worse is the, you know, the old itch, itchy love handle. But from where we started to now, I think I've not done too bad. Don't forget the other two fields. Yeah, they're going to be done. I've done it again. Press the wrong button. Wasting herbicide. I tell you what, the people that invent these machines, absolutely brilliant. Right, here we are. Wow, this one definitely is in need of a bit of bit of TLC. And let's give it. Let's give it some. Kittens are woke up. Hopefully I don't have to adjust the height again. Hopefully it automatically goes to the height I set it as. Nope. Jeez, that was... fast. Alright. Right, let's get this one sprayed. But from where we started to now, we have made amazing progress. You know, a couple of things did catch us out. You know, the old cultivator issue. Uh, cedar issue. We still don't have a cedar, which... Mm, bit of an issue, you know. would like to do some cereal crops. But I can only do what I can do. Let's get this, and then we'll, of course, head over to that field, get that a spray. I don't know if it'll do any good, but we've got this. Might as well do it. I'm amazed that, you know, we able was able to buy a brand new field, especially get that class tractor over there. I mean, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. About as welcomed as this sprayer is right now. see some niggly little weeds in there. It'd be nice to get one of those uh, weeders that you can just pull along. But, you know, just to save on spray. But we haven't been so lucky to get one of those pop up in the old sails. So we're doing what we can with what we have. Okay, let's lift that up, and uh, let's go. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you pull full? There we go. Is it getting the weeds? Yes, it is. 
this is our biggest field. And I'm really I'm looking forward to the, to the yield we get once we combine all the sunflowers together. I mean, this one we uh, just harvested and replanted. Seems to be growing nicely, which is fantastic. I would love to get a rock picker just to get those rocks out of the ground. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. Start here. Inside of my ear itches. <laughs> I mean, as a real farmer, where do you even begin with the old herbicide and all that? I mean, you've got to make sure that whatever you put down kills the weeds and not what you're planting. And I mean, somebody clever has got to have gone around and gone, right, well, this is the right stuff for this. It won't damage what you're planting. But how, how, you know, how does that stuff know not to kill what you're planting, but kill all the other weeds? Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Right, straighten out. Any weeds there? Some slight weeds, so let's crack on. Here we go, we're spraying! I'm so happy we got this sprayer. Looks like I'm only just reaching some of the weeds on this edge. Still a few sneaky weeds in the middle. Is it really worth going for an extra pass? Uh, is it worth going for the extra pass just for like a little strip? It is like a strip of two rows. Where are you? I mean, we've got most of them. Hmm. Inside of my ear really itches. That's what happens. Does anybody else get that? When you wear earphones for, for a prolonged period of time, it just makes your ears sweat inside and it's really like a horrible feeling. So where, oh, there's the rock slot. That's hmm. Alright, so where Where did I see that issue? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not seeing that issue now. Is it further over? Could have sworn looking from the top. Aha! Here they are. This is strip from here. One weed, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Literally just one row from here to here. Uh, leave it a little bit until next time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Don't want to get a full spray on sh just for that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Go just so honestly, I don't think I've done bad for what I've achieved. Uh, this challenge that I came up with definitely makes things a lot more interesting than your normal farm sim. So, if you did like this one, please remember. 
to hit that like, hit that share. If you want other people to see this, you need to do your bit as well. Hit the like, hit the share. Just share it in as many places as you possibly could. But I am going to call the stream there. I hope you had an absolutely amazing time with me in this what is the on sale challenge or the Miss P Gaming's on sale challenge until next time thank you to everybody for coming in there you go the big fat thumbs up for you and uh, yep we'll continue this one hopefully if the Giants update doesn't break it if it does we'll just start again you never know what little equipment we'll get next time so till then have a fantastic day Thank you to everyone for watching. If you're watching this after the fact, hit the like, share, subscribe, and absolutely everything. Till then, have a great day, and I will see you all later on. Have a fantastic day.